You were created for something special. Something extraordinary. Are you ready to be a sign and a wonder to your generation? The Fountain of Life Church presents Word Explosion Conference 2024. Come experience eight days of divine revelations, transformative teachings, and powerful worship with the theme, Signs and Wonders. The event holds from Sunday, April 14 to Sunday, April 21st. Speaking at the conference are renowned and seasoned preachers, Bishop Mike Okonkwo, Bishop Tudor Bismarck, Dr. Francis Miles, Pastor Mike Todd, Apostle Joshua Selman, Pastor Ibuko Awoshika, and Pastor Kunle Shorio. Hosts are Pastor Jimmy Odukoya and Pastor Tuluwani Odukoya. Venue is the Fountain of Life Church, 12 Industrial Estate Road, of Town Planning Way, Ilupeju, Lagos. The morning sessions will start at 9 a.m., while the evening sessions will start at 5 p.m. Don't miss this opportunity to encounter the supernatural and witness the manifestation of God's power. Word Explosion Conference of 2024, where faith meets with revelation and lives are changed forever. Tell somebody to tell somebody about it. Still doing it. Still doing it. You were created for something special. Something extraordinary. Are you ready to be a sign and a wonder to your generation? The Fountain of Life Church presents Word Explosion Conference 2024. Come experience eight days of divine revelations, transformative teachings, and powerful worship with the theme, Signs and Wonders. The event holds from Sunday, April 14 to Sunday, April 21st. Speaking at the conference are renowned and seasoned preachers, Bishop Mike Okonkwo, Bishop Tudor Bismarck, Dr. Francis Miles, Pastor Mike Todd, Apostle Joshua Selman, Pastor Ibuko Awoshika, and Pastor Kunle Shorio. Hosts are Pastor Jimmy Odukoya and Pastor Tuluwani Odukoya. Venue is the Fountain of Life Church, 12 Industrial Estate Road, of Town Planning Way, Ilupeju, Lagos. The morning sessions will start at 9 a.m., while the evening sessions will start at 5 p.m. Don't miss this opportunity to encounter the supernatural and witness the manifestation of God's power. Word Explosion Conference of 2024 where faith meets with revelation and lives are changed forever. Tell somebody to tell somebody about it. More time. Still doing it. Still doing it. You were created for something special. Something extraordinary. Are you ready to be a sign and a wonder to your generation? The Fountain of Life Church presents Word Explosion Conference 2024. Come experience eight days of divine revelations, transformative teachings, and powerful worship with the theme, Signs and Wonders. The event holds from Sunday, April 14 to Sunday, April 21st. Speaking at the conference are renowned and seasoned preachers, Bishop Mike Okonkwo, Bishop Tudor Bismarck, Dr. Francis Miles, Pastor Mike Todd, Apostle Joshua Selman, Pastor Ibuko Awoshika, and Pastor Kunle Shorio. Hosts are Pastor Jimmy Odukoya and Pastor Tuluwani Odukoya. Venue is the Fountain of Life Church, 12 Industrial Estate Road, of Town Planning Way, Ilupeju, Lagos. The morning sessions will start at 9 a.m., while the evening sessions will start at 5 p.m. Don't miss this opportunity to encounter the supernatural and witness the manifestation of God's power. Word Explosion Conference of 2024, where faith meets with revelation and lives are changed forever. Tell somebody to tell somebody about it. More time. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Still doing it. Still doing it. Still doing it. Still doing it. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Yes. 
you were created for something special. Something extraordinary. Are you ready to be a sign and a wonder to your generation? The Fountain of Life Church presents Word Explosion Conference 2024. Come experience eight days of divine revelations, transformative teachings, and powerful worship with the theme, Signs and Wonders. The event holds from Sunday, April 14th to Sunday, April 21st. Speaking at the conference are renowned and seasoned preachers, Bishop Mike Okonkwo, Bishop Tudor Bismarck, Dr. Francis Mao. Jesus, welcome to World Explosion 2024. It's day five, and of course, if you've been following World Explosion this year, this is the 10th session. For all of you joining us all over the world, our online community, we want to say... Yes. Glory to Jesus. Welcome once again. If you're just joining us, everywhere you're watching us from all over the world, to all our online community, we want to say many thanks for joining us for World Explosion 2024. It's been an amazing experience. It's been impacting, and of course, the anointing has been great for mm -hmm. every session we've experienced so far. Once again, welcome to World Explosion 2024. 24. This is the 10th session. My name is Joshua Murakio. And I am Aisha Itua. I am Aizehi Itua. Oh, coincidentally, we had to bring a couple here today <laughs> to make it more interesting. <laughs> but more than that, of course, it's been an experience, a total experience so far, um, being part of World Explosion 2024 this mm -hmm. year. From Sunday, from the first day, even to the fifth day today, I mean, it's been an amazing experience. And I'm sure for all our online community, you've been participating as well. We really want to say thank you very much. Uh, join us, those joining us on Facebook, Instagram, X, um, TikTok, we are very appreciative of you joining us to enjoy from this amazing experience so far. Uh, the online community has been very amazing. And we say thank you for being part of um, the World Explosion Conference from day one to day five. It's, it's very amazing how they've been super consistent and been very engaging. So we say thank you. Definitely. Uh, Joshua, did you notice that it's been an all-girls affair for the past few days? And so we decided to tweak it a little bit. We have to bring the men in. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to make it all it is affair. So today, we have two gentlemen here to help push the conversation about what has been happening so far with World Explosion. For me, since Sunday, um, it's been amazing from Pastor Toluani. Um, it's wow. been amazing to Pastor mm -hmm. Ibukun Awoshika. Mm -hmm. And to the Monday experience, so far it's been trials and triumph, uh, audacity of signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. Those I can remember so far. Yes, you? and then I can remember Pastor Tudo Bismarck as well. Bishop Tudo Bismarck, I beg your pardon. Um, speaking on the hope of glory as well. I remember Pastor Ibukun Awoshika speaking on trial and triumph and reminding us that we should stand our ground irrespective. As long as you know your hands Stand your ground and God will fight for you. I'm talking about time, Pastor Kunle, my man, my man, <laughs> <laughs> sincerely. That guy talked, who is, which of you, which of you will be in the bended and uh, the deep time? No, so I think I'll be on the bended time. <laughs> so it, it, it's been, it's been a total experience so far. And of course, from Dr. Francis Miles, yes. and of mm -hmm. course to... Uh, Pastor uh, Tudor Bismarck. Tudor Bismarck. Like Todd, uh, you know? Ma ma of course. Oh, <laughs> yes, fire. Like How could you yes, forget that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. it's so, many, so many people have been looking forward to what exactly mm. is happening. What, but also, it's been a total experience so far when, mm. of course, uh, Pastor Todd Mike talked of power of overflow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that, if you check, for some of our online community, it's been a total experience for them as well. Mm, yeah, I remember him saying that um, for you to overflow, you have to stay in position. And that's a very strong one. Definitely. That the fact that it reminds me of the Bible verse that says that you have to dwell and not just visit. Definitely. So it's a very strong reminder. Definitely. So staying in position is a very good one for you to overflow. So perhaps let us just remind some of our online community because mm -hmm. in the course of this um, situation room, we would like to hear from you what your experiences are so far. What have you learned 
what has really touched you or what message has really impacted you. Perhaps you can even share your testimonies online. Mm, yeah. But of course, for everything, we have a new twist to it today. Mm -hmm. And that is, you can take a picture yeah. and of course, you can post it using these hash hashtags on all our social media platforms. On TikTok. And of course, you help us with our social yeah, media platforms. On, platform on TikTok, shortly. on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook. Use the hashtag World Explosion 2024, hashtag TFOLC, and hashtag The Fountain of Life Church. So, this is what you're going to do. Uh, just take a picture, either you're in your sitting room or anywhere mm -hmm. at work, anywhere you're watching us from. Take a selfie or let someone take a picture for you. You can post it on all our social media platforms. Uh, perhaps tell them about our, our app, app as well. Definitely. Um, feel free to download our app on all your favorite stores, app stores, Google stores, and stream live from there. You could also be part of our partnership program and enjoy the world explosion. I love that explosion <laughs> conference. So just take a picture of yourself uh, either watching or during the service mm -hmm. or even now. Post on all our social media platforms and use the hashtag World Explosion 2024. Hashtag TFOLC mm -hmm. and hashtag Fountain of Life. Okay, so we'll just take um, some messages from our online community on YouTube. Um, someone is asking if Apostle Joshua Salman is still preaching. I mean, people oh, we'll are really looking keep forward. to keep it on the wraps, <laughs> but of course, you've let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> but of course... Oh, and I remember Pastor Tolu and Jimmy giving them some expo last week. So, I mean, we can always tell them that, yes, Pastor Joshua Salman is coming in hot tonight. And you don't want to miss that session. And you? I've been waiting for that man. I've been waiting <laughs> for that man of God. And you know, when Pastor Jimmy talked about all the men and women of God being carefully selected, mm. it's obvious that the Holy Spirit actually orchestrated the selection of these men of God. Yeah. And we cannot wait for Pastor, you know, Joshua, Apostle, pardon mm. me, um, Apostle Joshua Selman, you know, to come and give us a word today. Okay, so online we have um, Queen Deborah Boss saying good, that's a, a very consistent online uh, fountain, yeah. Yes. Welcome, Queen. Queen Deborah Boss says, good evening, the Fountain of Life Church. Solomon Oye Igbemo says, good evening, church, and welcome to second session, day five. I mean, very welcome. apt. Welcome. Yep. Thank you for joining us. And Mrs. B says, Mrs. B again, welcome. Thank you for being so consistent. Good and happy evening to everyone from Box, England. I know that your day is full of his glory, so I won't ask how are you. Yes, of course. I mean, after that message from pa Pastor um, um, Tudor Bismarck, we are they definitely has to be full of glory. Definitely. Yep. Definitely. Welcome. It's great to have you all online. Remember to share your experiences mm -hmm. with us, please, with the hashtag word explosion conference. Um, all of our social media platforms. Want to see your videos, want to see your pictures, we want to see your experiences and your testimonies as well. And perhaps just put in your location as well, where you were reaching yes. us from. Please do. I've got some on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We have about 18 people watching presently. Muramoke Esther Adesete said, We are here. Hallelujah. We're happy to have you here. We can also see you, Chika, Anya Dufu, and of course, Fola Ayoride, Abraham Inamite. We are happy to have you join us online as well on okay. Facebook. And so here I have Solomon Oye Igbemo saying, Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity in your presence. To you be all the glory, honor, and adoration. And um, Bobby Joe Ogado says, Please, when is this time for today's service? Oh, we'll start. Service is on already. This is part of the ministration. <laughs> but I mean, 5 30 prompts. <laughs> yes. No, th th this is the service. Mm -hmm. And of course, <laughs> Um, I learned we need to change this mic. Oh, okay. So th this is this is the miracle of uh, today. We have Pastor Joshua Selman coming in it today, mm -hmm. and of course, um, like I always say, your heart is the the fatal grind to receive the word. Prepare yourself. Get your if you are in the house. I should I, I was about to say get your popcorn, but it's not a movie. <laughs> no, it's, it's not, not a movie. movie. So um, you might as well get your, get your Bible, Bible. Get your and, your Bible. Notes. and your notes because you don't want to miss out. Uh, definitely to receive the word. Definitely. Um, so um, I think my attention has been called to, if you're on Instagram, please feel free to register on um, wec.tfolc.org for the, for, the, uh, for the conference so we can actually keep in touch and make you a part of our community as well. 
And here's a reminder that if you can, if you will live anywhere around here, you we would like or love for you to be on site today. Be rest assured that you have buses that will convey you back to. I mean, the come nearest. To look bus stop. Come, 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 <laughs> come. Just come, come and be a part of the service today. <laughs> and definitely, and on Facebook once again, let us just read some of your messages. I say you can reach us anywhere you're watching us around the world for our online community. You can send in your messages, your testimonies. Uh, the message, what has impacted you so far, and of course your location. And on Facebook, uh, we have Shola Elija Dojo. Say, can't wait to watch Apostle Selman tonight. And of course, Omonike um, Padono Mamu Kuyomi said, uh, it's really an explosion of the word. Yeah, I know Michael on YouTube says, we are ready. Yes, of course. Are you ready? Yes. Very and um, Queen um, Chim D. Kende says, good evening, my lovely online community. Good evening to you too. Welcome. KG Pillars, glory to God. Mrs. B says, we are back. Yes, we are indeed back. I think this, I, I'm loving the online community. They yeah. came prepared this evening. Very consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Very prepared. Uh, that's the reason why we are here for you. Uh, that's the reason why we are starting this situation room. It's all about you and, of course, to get you prepared. And, of course, to get your buying as we move into the service, get your expectations up. It promises to be an inspiring, impactation night uh, with Pastor Apostle Joshua Selman. And, of course, um, thank you very much. Um, we have from, still from Facebook, he said, um, I've been here from start till the last day. Wow. Love from UK, and that is Esther um, Shola Ojo. We really appreciate you. Thank you for joining us all the way from the UK. And then Duque Salami says, God has been happening. No, oh, like emphasis on God has been happening. Indeed, God has been happening because it's only the Holy Spirit. I mean, all of the sermons, all of the teachings from day one to day five morning session has been apt. It's just been a word of the season. You don't want to miss out on anyone. Perhaps so let me just remind you that in case you've missed on any of the messages, mm -hmm. please, you can go online. You can watch it all over again on, on, uh, for the first session, that is on the day one of Word Explosion. Mm -hmm. It was Pastor Toluani Odukoya talking about the city of signs and wonders for the first day. Mm -hmm. And in the evening, it was Pastor Ibukun, our very own Pastor Ibukun Awoshika, talking about trials and triumphs. I can speak about that because it was very, very interesting and it was impactful as well. The second day uh, for the first session, it was Pastor Kunle Shorinyo. And of course, in the evening of the same day, it was Dr. Francis Miles. Uh, the third day in the morning session, we still had Pastor Francis Miles as well. And of course, day three, Pastor Tudor Bismarck uh, taking us through what we call the hope of glory. And of course, day four, it was Pastor Tudor Bismarck uh, taking us with this seventh session. And it's about its power play. And of course, day four, we still had Pastor Tudor Todd Mike talking about power of overflow. And of course, this morning, it was Pastor Kunle showing you again mm -hmm. with the session nine talking about the weight of time. Yes. Okay, so we have Chim Dikane that's saying, Good evening, media. You guys are doing a great job. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We appreciate you. Thank you. Olayin Makyu says, Good morning from here and good evening over there watching from Los Angeles. Thank you. So, so Joshua, I'm excited about how God is announcing our pastors in Fountain of Life, you mm. know, through even this um, conference, uh, the likes of Pastor Kone Shorignon and um, our own Pastor Blessing, you know, Ibukun Awoshika. I, 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 it speaks to the legacy of, you know, our pastor, our founding pastor, Taiwo, and mm. how he has, God has used him to impart into this man of God, you know, over time and it's really exciting to see that i i, I must say I must definitely say. it's just a function of raising a generation of leaders oh, yeah. and that is what fountain of life is Can all you about feel the and that <laughs> is what we've seen so far and i'm sure with time we'll see many of our pastors uh, many of our leaders doing very well and these are people that have done very well in their chosen endeavors yes, yes. like captains of industries yes. doing really well inspirational leaders all over the world preaching the gospel through what they do and here we have them also impacting us during the word explosion it's absolutely incredible and that is what we enjoy mm -hmm. in fountain of life church and we also want to enjoy you to join us uh, to participate as well i uh, will see have um, from our online community i'm here right here on facebook mm -hmm. and we have idiom and by i was blessed in the morning session pastor mm -hmm. Kule showing you god bless you for the insight and of course um 
or dead delay talked about work, work 24 is a place to be. Bless God for his doing at TFOLC. I'm connecting from Abuja. We really appreciate you from the Federal Capital Thank Territory. Thank you so much. So Thank if you're you so ready much. for Apostle Sermon tonight, let's see your fire emoji across all of the platforms. Please send mm -hmm. your fire emoji right now, right? On Instagram, on YouTube, Facebook, um, and everywhere you're joining us from, right? Let's see that. Let's see that tonight. Okay, so we have from um, Blessing Jayola on YouTube. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Day 5 evening session. I am expectant for what God is set to do tonight. The expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Amen. Watching from the United Amen. Kingdom. Amen. Thank you for joining. Mm -hmm. at, Na Israel, okay. 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 at Israel Lawal says, Excellent evening, church. Joining from Turkey. I mean, this online right. community. Turkey. We're Turkey happy to Nigeria. have you join us all over the world. It's a global experience. It's a global experience, and we're looking for, we're excited about this, and that is why we're here for you to prepare your minds, of course, to perhaps set your minds on those things that will really elevate you and catapult you to the next level of spiritual insight. We want to say thank you very much, Nana Ya uh, from Ghana. He said, I'm really, really blessed. God bless Pastor Jimmy for this word explosion. I've been watching from Ghana. Thank you very much. I may not know the flag... Color, but so, <laughs> so does Doc Kuku put this thing, and of course, fire, fire, Ooh, fire out there. The fire emojis Ooh. already. Yes, 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 <laughs> we love yes. the fire, please keep it coming. And from Jimoski, David, it says, Liberian watching here. Hey. Bolan Le Salami says, Watching from US. Good evening, all. Good evening to you too. Welcome. And Chim Dikane, they says, We are ready for the Koinona experience. Yes, we're ready for that yes, fire. We're ready. we're ready for that fire. I, I definitely, perhaps, let me just remind you as you're putting the fire emoji on on dropping those comments mm -hmm. there we will also like you to take a picture yes, uh, during this world explosion especially tonight and use the hashtag world at what explosion, explosion 20 yes. hashtag what explosion 2024 yes. hashtag tflc okay, yes. and hashtag fountain of life and then just a quick one, uh, social media handles um, for our senior pastor is past jimmy odukoya on youtube I am that PJ on Instagram. We have um, Tolu Ijogun on Instagram and Toluani Odukoya on Facebook. On IG and YouTube, it's the Fountain of Life Church. So please follow us and um, don't miss any part of this conference. Joshua, have you noticed that the World Explosion Conference is actually shaping culture? Yeah. Uh, definitely. I'm, I'm excited about that. Yes, uh, <laughs> I was about to say so. Uh, well, d don't bother about my culture. It's just Shipping Africa. Culture. Africa. <laughs> okay. Funny enough, that was what, um, part of what um, Pastor Conley spoke about this mm -hmm. morning, like culture shaping, the mm -hmm. fact that mm -hmm. you have the power to, to shape in all of the things around you. You have the, the power, you have the dominion to shape whatever it is that you want. And like you are expanding you capacity. It. You are expanding mm -hmm. capacity for the overflow today. Yeah. I definitely, okay, I can see the fire emoji everywhere. Isaac, good morning, thank you. Belfem yes. food, thank you. Fire shield, thank you very much. I say good evening, God bless you awesomely. Thank you very well. And of course, Omonike said, well done, media team, great job. Thank you. Thank That's you. still on Facebook. Um, the, uh, all, it's growing, it's growing, it's growing. Keep joining, keep joining. We really do appreciate you, our oh. online community. So we have a first timer, Omotoyosi Omoloba, saying hey. good evening. This is my yes, first so. time here. Hello, watching from yes. Ibado. I can't wait for the word session by Apostle Joshua Selman. Yes. Welcome. You are in the right place. Welcome. Definitely. Welcome. I wish you were in Lagos. I would have asked you to please come over mm -hmm. and experience it live. Uh, I can see so many people trooping in now. The church is almost, it's, it's just gathering momentum as, as we speak. Yes, it is. And of course, it promises to be a wonderful evening. Amen. If you're on your way, please come, 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 come. We still have a lot of seats for you. We're waiting for you, right? Yes, your, your seat has been reserved. No one will take your seats. And so, Use, I hope I do not, um, I hope I pronounce that name right. Okay. Use Neno Udokon says, Good evening, God's people. God, you alone will be glorified in today's Amen. service. Amen. Amen. And Jolly Allen says, Reaching and watching from Uganda. Mm. Can't oh. wait to listen Thank you very much. To Thank you. Apostle Selman. So we're seeing Africa join. I love this. Mm. I love this. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. And don't forget, we've not even exhausted all our speakers, uh, all the yes. ministers for <laughs> World Explosion. So if you think perhaps after listening to Pastor Apostle Selman tonight, uh, that's all over. Mm, no, we still have day six. Mm. We've got tomorrow. Yes. It promises. So we still have Pastor Ma 
have about three Michael days to Michael Conko? Yes, my ah, that's Bishop, our grandfather. Bishop is still there. And of yeah. course, uh, have you listened to Pastor Jay? Mm -hmm. You haven't. No, no. So uh, we still have so many ministers of God ready to, to unleash, unleash insight mm -hmm. into the hearts and minds of people. I am sure you're preparing yourself. So uh, tonight is just another wonderful night. But don't forget... We still have the six, and we still have Sunday as yeah, well. It's going to be a tip of the iceberg. Trust me. Like you know what the Bible says that the later will be greater than the former. So yeah. you do not want to miss the letter that is definitely going to be. She's catching the I'm fire. I'm catching the fire. Already. You know, it's all about signs and wonders. Yes. Uh, there's room for overflow. Uh, mm -hmm. You overtake. You will. And that's that's what the scripture says. I am telling you, don't go anywhere. It promises to be. And this evening. It's power, it's fire. So keep sending those. I can see the images. Mrs. B yeah. says Bible, Bible, not popcorn. Okay, I remember you said yes, they Bible, should come with your Bible, not Bible, popcorn. Yeah, Bible, Bible not popcorn. Oil, holy <laughs> communion. Don't come with your Ghana <laughs> Jollof so and Nigeria Jollof, please. She says only Josh can rock this filler like he is. Ah, yeah, <laughs> you see? Your, your, your shaping your culture. <laughs> <laughs> you all make it happen for us. Thank you. Jesus makes it happen for us. Thank uh, that's you. it, that's it. Keep, yeah. keep sending your, dropping those comments on YouTube, on Facebook. Uh, We've not been able to go to Instagram or X yet or TikTok, yeah, but of Instagram, course, I think I mean, we, we, just have, so we have a couple people of people there on Instagram. I can see the fire emoji from Vicky's world, okay. you know, on Instagram as well. A lot of people joining in. Please keep joining in and engaging. Let's see your fire emojis. We're here. We're here for you. So Bukala Ori Natural says, watching from Italy. Good evening, church. Um, Big Sam Oluwani says, we are ready for tonight's message. Jennifer Ajavon says, oh my God, I can't wait to listen to Apostle Joshua Selman. Jesus revealed, Jesus glorified. Isaac Amoni said, world explosion, there was fire, fire there in between. He said, it's the best. I can assure you, I can attest to the fact that it's the best so far. At this show, God, Joshua said, I look forward to experiencing God through Apostle Joshua Selman tonight. Ah, someone said, YouTube Two is full. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, so I, I hope Isaiah and Joshua have really been a part of this um, World Exposition Conference because it seems like the online community are even tapping into it. They've not, they've not, they've not seen it. us. I, 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 I no, but, but we were, here. were you not here on Sunday? Yes, we were. We were here on Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Yes, yes but I, I was part rest. of the situation room on, on, on oh. Sunday. Oh, okay, so that means you were part there. Yeah, oh, so, so you were news on Sunday. Yeah, so we've been here. We've been here. But then we love the fact that you guys have been engaging, you know, engaging with us and all of the fire. Please share your testimonies with us. We're here for it. We're here to, you know. You know, the Bible talks about us overcoming the devil, the words of our testimony. So don't keep it. It's an encouragement to someone. Your experience yeah. here, let's feel the fire. I'm, I'm all about the fire today. And share. Yes, please. Don't forget to share the link with your loved ones, your family, friends. Please, you don't want them to miss out on yes, this please. blessing. Be a blessing by sharing. And, and of course, uh, Isaac Omoni said, my life will never remain the same after World Explosion. That's on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. And I can see uh, this explosion is, is lit. Thank you. And uh, Philomena Uche said, I expect tonight to be lit as well. Uh, thank you very much. God bless you. And uh, Chidima Margaret Oriere, live from Liverpool. Wow. Yesterday was a blast. And this evening, I am expectant. And that's the heart we must all have to be expectant. Um, um, if you're eager... Of course, God is ready to bless you as well. Come, come empty, come thirsty, yeah. come hungry, and you'll be filled up. There's yeah. room for overflow. Um, Alan Itua says, uh, my people watching from Surulere, really Lagos. I mean, she's close. Why is she not here? So your come. people are watching come. too. Thank you, the Ituas. <laughs> <laughs> Join us as well. <laughs> you didn't get to... So thank you very much. Bring your family. I mean, you don't do this alone. Don't be stingy I mean. <laughs> with the good news. Um, go, go around the world. Spread the gospel. So tell all the friends. You can share your link with our friends. Some of my friends on Facebook said, Josh, just make sure you send the link to yes. me. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's been my joy to share the links with them of this service. You can as well do that with your friends. Just a quick reminder. You need to take a picture and, of course, hashtag, post it using this hashtag. Hashtag Fountain of Life Church, yes. hashtag TFOLC, hashtag World Explosion 2024. Yes, yeah, so I'll be taking more comments on YouTube. Uh, Mrs. B says, um, for I mean, from the UK says, good evening from Essex, London. And um, Bernadette Jarrett says, hello, beautiful people. Hello, hello, beautiful Bernadette. It's another beautiful evening in God's presence. Yes, we are expectant. I'm on the road and can't wait to. 
um, I can't wait for the evening session come. to start. Come. Just just come from wherever it is you are. Just come. We're we're Lagos, for Lagos. You. <laughs> I think PJ, PJ says yes, something. Yeah, Leg you would be Lagos, ready to Lagos, 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 Lagos would always be Lagos. So we don't give any excuse not to be here. We're waiting, we're waiting. And then Ladi Totti contact. Yeah, that's been another consistent person mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. online community. Mm -hmm. Ladi. We B. appreciate all of you all our Ladi watching from Paris. Mrs. B. I also, I always, yes, yeah, I've every been very time, consistent, yes. yes. And patience, okay, we can see the fire, we can see the fire emoji. Please let's go, keep it let's coming. go, let's go. Watching from Malaysia, welcome to our online community mm -hmm. once again. Definitely, and of course, still on Facebook, I'm, I'm sticking to Facebook today. I'm expecting more words this evening, more fruitful words from mm -hmm. this conference. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Adiola Onifade. Uh, thank you very much. And of course, uh, we have um, fire emoji, and Oni Wide Omolara Isibo said, "Is she is watching? I want to believe is she." Thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight. We really do appreciate you for all our online community. I think we have a message from Instagram. Um, Waki, um, Waki, he says, I can't wait to listen to Apostle Selma. We cannot wait to. Isaac Sparkles, he said, my first time here at the Fountain of Life. Come on, Isaac. You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's indeed a beautiful place with amazing people, definitely. Um, media crew, I did love Una style from Tayo. We love you too. We love you too. We love you too. Thank you so much for the words of encouragement. All glory to God. So I just got this white paper and inscribed on it at the hashtag you need to use. Yeah. Perhaps we get if it? our camera can, can we zoom get in, yeah. can we get it? Uh, just for a few seconds, so that you know that we're really serious about this. Yes, so Oksay, you can, on my chest. do not forget oh, to take a it. picture it's and use joy. the hashtags you can see. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag World Explosion Conference, that's WEC 2024. Yes. Hashtag World Explosion Conference 2024. Mm -hmm. And hashtag TFOLC. Mm -hmm. I'll take that again, hashtag WEC 2024, hashtag World Explosion Conference 2024, hashtag TFOLC. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So take a picture and post it using these hashtags we've actually uh, showed you this moment. And Thank if you're you. in church, you could also do that, right? Yeah, if you're in church, you, you can so also I'm sure on site. Some of... Uh, Okay, here they are. You can as well take a picture. <laughs> if you're under the sound of my voice, Please take, a, take picture. a picture and post on all our social media platforms. Tell them you're in church. Encourage someone to come to church as well. It promises to be amazing tonight. It's going to be lit. Yes. Lit, it's tonight. Be lit tonight. Yes. So we have Tasty Quick and Healthy Meals saying, I feel the fire from Texas. I mean, Aye. somebody from Texas is feeling this fire. Thank you How very much. much. You All the way <laughs> from United States. I thought someone was going to send from Maryland. Not the one in Ikeja. Not the one Pastor in Ikeja. No, like Pastor Jose. I think <laughs> Ryan, Maryland in the abroad. Ryan Nasai from Instagram is saying, I can't afford to miss out on this. I love you all. We love you too. Thank you so, so and much. And of course, Victoria Olulan um, on ground for the word tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got a few more minutes to go. Uh, perhaps just a quick reminder of our social media platforms okay, so for all our own community to join. Okay, so um, on, um, for our senior pastor, it's I am that PJ on Instagram and Jimmy Odukoya on YouTube and on um, X as well. And on for our associate senior pastor, it's Tolu Ijogo on Instagram and Toluwani Odukoya on Facebook. And for the church, it's the Fountain of Life Church on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, definitely, for once again, just a quick reminder for all of you who are watching online, all our online community, and those of you even in church, you can as well take a picture and send using this hashtag WEC2024, hashtag World Explosion Conference 2024, and hashtag TFOLC. Uh, those are the hashtags we need to use to uh, just push the message of what is happening here. And I said, don't be a stingy Christian. Share the link. Share. Uh, we're all about our online this community tonight. So don't, don't, don't be um, Yoruba people who use this fantastic word. Abara Morije. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> be stingy. Yes, Abara Morije. Yes, that's because we are speaking to the diaspora, so it's Abara Morije. Yes, thank you. Okay, so perhaps Aiza, you want to remind them of the for those that just joined our app. Yes, please, please feel free to download our apps on all platforms: Apple, the app stores, and then Google Play to your favorite stores. You could get the recap of the messages there and be a part of our community. We want to have you here. It's a beautiful place. Can't you see how excited we are? Thank you very much.
Definitely, uh, we need to go now. We want to say thank you very much for joining us today. We will do this tomorrow as well, the Situation Room. We'll be back. But for tonight, I hope you'll be watching, expectant, praying, and looking forward to Apostle Selman as we meet. In fact, it promises to be exciting from the prayer session even to the, the worship. Amazing time in God's presence. My name is Joshua Murakio. Thank you for watching our online community. I am Aisha Itoa. Thank you for being a part of this. And I am Aizehi Itwa. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Fountain, yes, praise the Lord. Are you excited to be in the presence of the Lord this evening? Praise the Lord. Please, let's give it to Jesus. Let's give it to Jesus. All that we have been learning and studying for the past week, let's give it to Jesus. Oh, our God is a good God. Lord, we appreciate you. Father God, we thank you. You know, I was thinking to myself. I said so much has been taught for these past few days. But you see, I realized that we have limited the Lord in so many things. When we heard the meat of the word, I know within myself, there's some things I have placed limitation to. Believing that maybe it is not possible. But we have been told that everything is possible. We know that everything is possible. But do we live? Do we live it? I want us to sing this song. As a form of repentance, telling the Almighty Father that we're sorry for thinking so little of you. <clears throat> we have made it too small. In your eyes, oh Lord, forgive us. Don't you think we should ask for forgiveness? Because we have made the Lord too small in our eyes because we feel that there's some things that he cannot do. But we know, go on please, that everything he can do. And now, oh Lord, I see my wrong in your heart. I show yourself strong, and in my eyes and with my song, oh Lord, be my. thanking Almighty Father for what we have learned. Let's start thanking God for all the ministers. Let's start thanking God. We are expectant today. We are expectant because we know that there is nothing, there is nothing as is being said today. Mariga Senderia, we are receiving that power in the mighty name of Jesus. We appreciate the Almighty Father. What are you expecting this evening? 
Rima Sekeria, are you audacious in your receiving this evening? Rima Kasiri Bakuri Gazekeri Are you bold enough to say there is nothing that is beyond the power of God? Riga Zekeri Gazondelo Bokoshenera, are you staying in that position? Riga Zeri Bakuri Gazendera, Riba Kakakaka. We know that trusting God is the prerequisite for overflow. Rima Sekeria, do you trust enough? Do you trust God enough? To receive that impossibility in the name of Jesus. Do you trust God enough to move that mountain in the name of Jesus? Let us pray. Rabababa Senderia. Hola Baba Baba. Hori Mos Senderi Casidia. Riga Zegeriga Sondro. Hola Baba Baba. Holo Mos Senderia. We are not here to look at anybody this evening. We are here to grab what belongs to us. Riga Zegeriga Senderia. Hola Baba Baba. Holo Mos Sekeriga Siri Bakuria. Holy Mosenderia, Riga Gaga Gaston of Mosenderia. In Jesus' name, do you believe that there's a shift? Do you believe that you have moved to a higher level? We were told today that God, the God we serve, breaks pattern, breaks protocol for us, breaks every process for us, and so we take over the impossibilities. I want us to thank God, Rama Sender, that I have moved to a higher level in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you because I'm not what I used to be. Rimo Siribo Kuntaya, there's a shift in my life. Riga Zekeria, there's a shift in my family. Rima Sondolobo Koshenderia, Riba Baba, I am shifted from what I used to know. Rima Sekeriga Sondobo, Rimo Senderia, Hola Baba Baba, Holobo Sekeriga Syria. Rimo Siri Bakuria, Rama Senderia, Rabba Baba, Horobo Senderia, Riga Gaga Gaga Gaga, Horobo Senderia. We tear down every pillar that has held us bound in the name of Jesus. Mariga Senderia, our dominion eyes are opened in the name of Jesus. The physical eyes are dead, they are blinded in the name of Jesus. Rabba Kasiri Bakuria, Rimo Senderia, Horaba Baba, Horobo Sekeriga Senderia, Rimo Siri Bakuria. Holy Baba Baba, Holy Bosekeriga Sekeria, Holy Baba Baba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, our God is good. We are going up to the high places. Oh, going up to the high places. Oh, going up to the high places. Hey, to tear the devil's kingdom down. We are going on to, to the, the help me choir. We're going up to the high. We're going to high places. places. We're going up to the high places to tear the devil's kingdom down. We are going to tear down the kingdom of the devil. Going up to the high places. We're going up to the high places. Are you going to high places this evening? We are tearing down the devil's kingdom. You cannot afford to be who you used to be. In the name of Jesus. We are tearing down the kingdom of the devil. Rimo Sekeriga Senderia, Hola Baba, Kasiri Bakuria, Rim Brono Sekeriga Senderia, Hola Baba, Holo Bos Sekeriga Senderia, Riga Siri Bukuntama Senderia, Hola Baba Sekeriga Sonu Bushindia. I want us to thank God in advance for your dominion eyes. We've all been carrying around our physical eyes, but there is something beyond that. The dominion eyes, as we were taught, Rama Sekeriga Senderia. When we are on the altar, we decree and we take what we want in the mighty name of Jesus because we see beyond the physical. Rima Sekeriga Senderia, Rabba Baba Baba, our altar, Almighty Father, Romo Sekeria, we hand it over to you. Our businesses, we hand over to you. Oh, Rabba Senderia, our family, we hand over to you on our altar in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Riga zege riga sondrobo. Hola ba 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 ba. Romo sekeria. Rimo sende riga sendia. Tell God what you want is going to happen today. If you believe it, it will come to pass. Romo sekeria riga sekeria. Hola ba ba ba. Oro mo senderia. Riga siri bokuria. Rimo sekeria riga sondrobo. Hola ba 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 ba. Oro mo senderia riga siri. Riga gaga sondrobo koshenderia. Hola ba 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 ba. Open our eyes to see Almighty God. Open our eyes to see beyond the natural. In the name of Jesus. Rama Sekeriga Senior. Father Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for the relationship that we have with you, Almighty God. It is growing, Almighty Father. It is increasing, Almighty God. Rimo Sekeriga Senior. Hora Baba. Hora Baba. This word explosion is not going to be like every other word explosion. This is different. Rima Sekeriga Senior. But it is what you make it that you will have. Riga sondorobo, rimo sekeriga senderia. Ora ba ba ba, ori mo senderi kasiri bokuria, rimo siri bokuria. Ra ba 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 ba, ora bo sekeriga senderia. Ora ba ba ba, sekeri bakuntaria. Ra ba senderia. Let's start. Let's start thanking God for the change in our story. Rimo sekeria. There's a change in our story because they will see you and they will wonder, is this the same person? Rimo sekeria. Ora ba ba ba, because God has touched you. Something has broken. Riga siri bokuntaria. Robo bo bo bo. Pray, pray. Raga zondolo bo. Rimo seke riga zenderia. Ola ba ba ba. Olo mo seke riga zenderia. Riba ba ba kasiria. There is a turn around. Holy ma siri bokuntaria. There is a turn around. Raba ba ba. Romo seke riga zenderia. Holy ma siri bokuria. Riga seke riga zondolo bo. Olo bo bo bo. Rimo siri bokuria. Olo mo senderi kasiri bokuria. Raba ba ba ba, oro bo senderi kasiria, ori mo siri bo kunta ma senderi. In Jesus' name, what do you want this evening? Apostle Selman is coming. What do you want this evening? I want you to start praying for what you want to happen to you this evening. Haraba sekeri ga senderia, rima sekeri ga sondo bo koshen. What do you want God to do for you this evening? Rima siri bo kuri ga sekeri ga sondo bo. Riba ba ba ba, romo sekeri ga senderia. Ora ba 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 ba, ori mo siri bo kuntaria. Riga siri bo kuntaria. Riba sekeri ga sondo bo. Rimo sekeri ga senderia. Ora ba ba ba, oro bo sekeri ga senderia. Oro bo senderia. For your family, for your businesses, hold on, my senior. Riga siri ba kuntaria. For your children, riga sondabo. What are you expecting? Are you expectant? Rama sokolo ba koshenderia. Holo ba siri ba kuria. Holi ma siri ba kuri ga sekeria. Hola ba 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 ba. Holo ba sekeria. Holi ma siri ba kunta ma senderia. Hola ba 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 ba. Holo ba siri ba kuri ga senderia. Rima senderi ka siri ba kuntaria. Holi ba 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 ka sondabo koshenderia. Thank you, Almighty Father. I want us to speak a word to the minister that is coming this evening. We are all waiting. We are going to pray for him. That every word he shall speak shall be like two edges sword in our hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus. Haraba said, We are going to receive the power. As he speaks, he's going to touch our hearts in the name of Jesus. Rama sondolo bo koshenderia, riba kasiri bo kunta ma senderia, riba kasiri bo kunta ria, riga siri bo kunta ma sondolo bo shenderia. Hola ba ba ba, rimo seke riga senderia. Hola ba ba ba, hori mo senderia. Walls will be broken. Hola ba senderia. Every wall, every wall, every pillar. Rama sondolo bo koshenderia. In whatever form will be destroyed as he speaks in the name of Jesus. There will be healings, there will be miracles, instant healings. Rama sekeriga zenderia, hola ba ba ba, holo bo sekeriga zenderia, riga siri bo kuntaria, riba ba ba ba, holo bo sekeriga zenderia, holo bo bo bo, rimo siri bo kuntaria, riga sekeriga zenderia, rima sondolo bo koshenderia, riga ga ga ga. Every problem that is brought here this evening, holo bo zenderia. Rama Sendera, it is solved in the name of Jesus. Rimo Sekeriga Sendera, Hola Baba, Holo Mosekeria, Holy Basiri Bakunta Masenderia, Riba Baba, 
Holo bo bo bo, rimo seke diga zendelia. Holi ma siri ma kunta ma sondebo. Riba ba ba ba, romo seke diga zendelia. Rima zendelia. Thank God for what you are receiving this evening. Thank God in advance. You don't have to see it before you believe it. Rimo seke diga zendelia. Holo ba ba ba. Oh thank you Jesus. Oh thank you Jesus. Holo ba 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 kasiria. Rimo zendelia. Riga siri ma kunta ma zendelia. Holo ba ba kasiri ma kuria. Oh, Father God, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for what you are going to do in our midst. We thank you, Lord God, for the power that will descend. In the name of Jesus, Rima Sekera. We thank you, Lord God. Ma Rende Senderia. Rima Sekeriga Senderia. Riba Baba. Rimo Sekeriga Senderia. That we will stay in that position to receive from you. In the name of Jesus, Rima Siriba Kuria. Raba Baba. Rimo Sekeriga Sondrobo, Ora Baba Cassidia, Hori Masiriba Kuntama Sendia, Riba Baba Baca Sondrobo, Hora Basiriba Kuntama Sondrobo Cosinia. Father God, we thank you. We worship and bless your holy name. For in Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord now lift your voice and just celebrate Jesus celebrate Jesus worship him give him glory give him glory it's another beautiful time in his presence. Give him glory. Exalt his name. Lift him higher. We honor you, King of glory. All hail the power of Jesus. Let angels strive. Come on. Let me hear your voice. Royal diadem and crown him, Lord oh, of all. Oh. One more time. All hail. All hail the power of Jesus. Let angels bring forth the royal diadem.
exalt thee. Come on. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. Oh Lord. Say, I exalt thee. Oh, I exalt thee. I exalt thee. Oh, it's a commitment. Say it together. I exalt. I. I exalt thee above my troubles, above all I see. I exalt the earth. I exalt the earth. I One more song. It says, "Oh, be lifted above all other gods. Say, who will lay a crown and worship? Somebody say, oh, be lifted above all other gods." created the heavens and the earth. 
He who made the heavens you are not just people. and the earth.
the signing of the book by Dr. Miles. I mean, it's, it's, it's time. Dr. Miles is waiting. So if you've bought the book and you want it signed, so please move to the back. Thank you. Are you ready? Say one thing. One thing we ask of you.
and all that is within me see I will bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me I God who 
is merciful and kind. He's faithful and gracious. See, I am the apple of his eyes. The thought that fills his heart every morning. Oh, he loved me when I didn't care. Running, running. Mm. See how he turned my life around, made me uh, just to reveal his glory. Somebody say, I will worship, I will worship him.
raise those hands to heaven. Just raise those hands to heaven. And release your worship to your Father. Forget about the music. Forget about the music. Forget about the person next to you. Oh, Libra Sukadama Lende Baden Zulanishta Haba. Reka Shutala Pata Beliva Zutado Seke de Balida Bush. Ili Tokato Seke Bradesh Talabada. Mandele Beto Saka Baraka Tose Libaraba. Isomble Krush Talabara Kotose Labada. Yede Bokoto Seka Baride Bokoto Sala. Entambro Shilabaro Seka Balara Baraga. Oh, we give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise, Lord. You want to give the Lord a shout offering tonight? So, I'm here for an assignment. This is day five. On Sunday morning, God introduced to us the audacity of signs and wonders. By Sunday evening, he began to tell us about our trials and triumph. Right? By Monday morning, he told us we have a future in power and truth. By Monday evening he showed us how to build new altars the language of communicating with your altar on Tuesday morning we entered into another dimension and he began to ask us what do you see what do you see what do you see and from there he began to show us the hope of glory. The hope of glory. And by the next morning, he showed us the power play in this environment where we operate. And last night, he gave us an overflow. Just this morning, he showed us the weight of time. How many of you are excited of what God is about to reveal? You know, it's only the hearers and the doers that justified. So it's not to hear and not do. Because the essence of this conference is to cause a shift. Already I can see a lot of people floating. Because the level where we operate now, we've gone. You know, he said, if you can see, then you will collect the mantle. What are you seeing? Ask your neighbor, what are you seeing? Ask your neighbor, what are you seeing? Please go to five, six people and say, what are you seeing? Can you feel the overflow? Ask your neighbor, can you feel the overflow? Can you feel the overflow? If the neighbor beside you does not have any overflow, shift to another neighbor. Amen. Before I move up, I want praise the Lord. Oh man, church looks amazing tonight. It's just been from glory to glory. From grace to to grace. But you will do me one favor. That's the only favor I'm asking for. Please bring out your phones. Sars, Mars, with all humility. Sars, Mars, with all humility. The hashtag for this conference is World Explosion 2024. So take a selfie of your overflow. Come on now, come on now, come on. Now, take a selfie of your overflow. Quickly. Take a selfie. Look for the people who have the overflow around you. That's carrying a weight of glory. Look for them. Those who can see. 
they know where you are like they understand where God is taking you to tell them I want to attach you to this selfie now begin to take the selfies begin to take the selfies look for those that are that, that you will partner with in the future oh yeah begin to take the selfie quickly 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 now begin to post using the hashtag world explosion 2024 make sure you are make sure you are tweeting make sure you are tweeting make sure you are tweeting make sure you are tweeting. use the hashtag we want to train for jesus something is about to erupt tonight tell your neighbor something is about to erupt tonight are you ready are you ready for the eruption i can see some people are still busy with their selfie those are people that understand the assignment they understand the assignment you may be seated welcome to day five evening session of world explosion receive the ministry of the grace levite hallelujah if indeed you have an overflow i don't think you should be sitting down celebrating the god who grants you overflow somebody make some noise listen the bible says jesus for the glory ahead endured the cross in other words there is a victory ahead and that's very simple we've come to remind anybody that cares to listen that our name is victory look at the neighbor next to us a neighbor my name is victory i don't know what the devil must have told you before now but look at the neighbor next to us the neighbor my name is victory come on let's celebrate jesus he's worthy he's worthy glory Woo!
song come on Party Satan Yeah, yeah Party Satan Money Money I want to Party power that God expects from us as a show or a sign of our faith and the devil is not as powerful as we think he is but most times our attitude towards the things that God has already done for us does not show that we understand. Now you are not walking, you are not going to be, you are already victorious. You are walking from a place of victory. I, I, I was trying to picture out something. God has already given us rest. We are not going to be walking 
our work with God is settled. So when Jesus says it is finished, it is finished. When you have that understanding, there are certain things that you just walk with and you just run with and it just works for you. And one of the speakers I was talking this afternoon was making us understand there are things you don't stress yourself to begin to argue with the devil. You give the devil instructions. Because you know who you are, you know where you have been. When you don't have an idea of who you are and where you have been, is when you start arguing with the devil. The Bible says, answer not a fool according to his fool unless you be like him. So when you and the devil begin to argue, there's no difference. You instruct him and say, in the name, like with ease. It's not you that is doing the work. The work has already been done. You are just manifesting what has been done. Are we grateful that we have a faithful God? Are we grateful that we have an awesome God? I want to just give you two minutes to say thank you, Father. For all you have done, for what you are doing, thanking God for this conference, how far, like so many words have been released from this altar. So many destinies have been changed from the words released from this altar. So many graces have blessed us. Just say, Father, we thank you. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. Just play soft. I exalt thee. I want you to exalt him from the depth of your heart. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. You've been faithful, Lord. You've been faithful, Lord. From the ages
Lift those hands. All the glory yeah. must be Give it to him. To the Lord. No man, no man. Somebody lift your voice and worship, lift your voice and worship. He deserves all the glory, he deserves all the honor, he deserves all adoration. Who is like unto thee, O God? Who is like unto thee, O God? Who can do what you have purpose not to do? Who can speak when you have not spoken? Who can open a door when you have shut? Who can shut a door that who can open? Who makes a way when there seems to be no way? That's why we call you way maker. That's why we call you miracle worker. That's why we call you the promise keeper. You are the light that shines in darkness. We thank you that this light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it. We thank you that you are the light of men. We thank you that everything that was made was by your word. We thank you that your word is living and active, energetic and full of power. We thank you that you are not a man that you should lie. Everything you say you will do, you have never lost a battle. Somebody give my God some praise. Father, we thank you for what you are about to do in this place. Rock of ages. The rock that cannot fail. The rock that cannot fail. Things will happen in life, but the question is, what are you building your house on? Everybody in life must have an anchor. If you build your house on the sand, when the storms of life come, but if you build your house on the rock, that cannot fail. The winds will come. The rains will blow. But your house stands firm.
He did not promise that there will not be trouble. He says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord. God is our refuge and our strength. A very present help in the time of trouble. The rock that cannot fail. Let me hide in you. Let me hide in you. In you there is power. The rock that cannot fail. Let me hide in you. Aha, aha. What is it that you are believing God for today? What is that situation or that circumstance? I know a rock that cannot fail. Age to age, he's still the same. He does not change. So Father, for the privilege and an honor to call you our own, we want to say thank you. Who is man that you are so mindful of him? What have we done to receive such love? We thank you that your love for us is not based on our faithfulness. Uh huh. We thank you that your love for us is not based on what we do or how faithful we are to you or how humble we are or how much we pray. We thank you that you are consistent, dependable, dependable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional God. Intentional. Intentional somebody lift up your voice right now just sing to your father lift up your voice Jesus you love me too much time thank you thank you for loving me too much thank you thank you for loving me too much so father we thank you 
For this time, we thank you. For this moment, we thank you. We thank you that you knew we would be here this time, this moment, this place. We thank you for the word that is about to come forth. We thank you that the entrance of your word bring it light. Illuminate every dark place in our lives in the name of Jesus. And Father, all the glory and honor returns to you because it's always about you. Take all the glory, take all the honor, adoration and thanksgiving be unto you in Jesus' name. If you believe it, shout amen. If you receive it, shout amen. If you know that God's about to do something amazing, give God a shout of hallelujah. Uh -huh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give God a shout of hallelujah. If you know you are living in the overflow, give God a shout of hallelujah. If you know you're living in the price of new glory, give God a shout of hallelujah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Give your neighbor a high five. Tell them welcome to church. Look for somebody else. Tell them welcome to church. Welcome to day five of Word Explosion 2024. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Look at your neighbor, tell them, neighbor, are you, are you ready? Look for somebody else, say, neighbor, are you ready? If you're not ready, get ready. Give God a shout of hallelujah. You may be seated. All right. Let's get down to business. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So, our speaker for this evening, should I say, needs no introduction. Now, 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 you people wait first. Relax. Relax. <laughs> now, so I would have you know that this is the first time I've had the honor of meeting our speaker. And the last time I saw, the last time our speaker was here, was this time last year. And our speaker gave a word. And he said, listen to me, fountain of life. I am speaking to you prophetically by the Spirit of God. Listen to me. There is a new season coming for this church. And it would be ushered in by the young. And fast forward, one year later, here we are. So ladies and gentlemen, turn your attention to the screen as we introduce our speaker for the evening. Introducing Apostle Joshua Selman. Apostle Joshua Selman Nemec is a Nigerian gospel minister, conference speaker, and televangelist. He's a deep teacher of God's word and the founder and senior pastor of the Eternity Network International, ENI, which organizes Koinonia Weekly in Samaru, Zaria, Kaduna State, and Abuja. 
Apostle Selman began his Christian ministry as a student preacher at the Amadu Bello University, Zaria, alongside friends. His weekly program, Koinonia, impacts lives through his powerful digging into God's Word mixed with worship and prayers. He is a man of God who has mastered the dynamics of hosting and introducing God's presence and effortlessly demonstrating the power and potency of God's Word. Apostle Selman, together with Pastor Nathaniel Bassey, organized an apostolic conference in the United Kingdom in 2023. The conference titled Sound of Revival at the AO Arena in Manchester, attracting a capacity crowd of over 21,000 attendees who experienced God's miraculous signs and wonders. He was recently at Harvard University where he gave a lecture on the role of religion in resilient societies, lessons from Africa's development journey. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Come on, Fountain of Life. With a word explosion, welcome. Welcome our speaker for this evening, Apostle Joshua Selman. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for this great opportunity. I want to say a word or two whilst we're standing before we sit. The last time I was here, um, truly was about a year ago, and um, I want to say a very big well done to first the church and then the pastors for the strength, the resilience, the stamina. Hallelujah. We had a word or two before we came in here and I was commending Pastor Jimmy, my first time meeting him and his dear sister, Pastor Tolu. We've met a couple of times and um, there are many people who will take years to heal, recover, be strengthened, and then re-strategize for the work ahead. But it's incredible what the Holy Spirit has done in their lives and through their lives. And the Bible says that those who rule well should be counted for double honor. And so please help me appreciate the pastors of this great church extending the legacy of Pastor Taiwo. And then I also, I also want to truly appreciate and honor the membership of this great church. You see, your presence, your remaining is proof you truly loved Pastor Taiwo. I will say it again. Your presence, your participation, your remaining, your prayers, your givings, your support, is proof that you truly loved Pastor Tyro. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And I want to honor um, Pastor Shola, a dear friend and brother. Thank you so much, sir. And all the great, incredible speakers, I can only imagine how the sessions have been. And I trust and pray that God will do us good tonight. If you believe that, say amen. Amen. So may I please request that we lift our hands to heaven and ask the Lord for an encounter tonight. The Bible says, for everyone that asketh, receive it. Go ahead and pray. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Faithful, faithful is the Lamb. Faithful, faithful is the Lamb. Faithful, faithful is the Lamb that was slain. Praise Him, hallelujah. Praise Him, hallelujah. Praise Him, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Father, we bless you and we thank you. We honor you and we worship you. Thank you for this great church. Thank you for the leadership. Thank you for your precious people gathered here on site and the many who are following online. We thank you for your wisdom. The Bible declares that the entrance of your word gives light and even understanding unto the simple. I pray that you speak to our hearts tonight. And whilst you speak, let the sick be healed. Amen. Whilst you speak, let the oppressed be delivered. Amen. Whilst you speak, let the downcast find hope. Amen. Redirect the causes of our destinies and move us forward. Amen. To you be all the glory and all the praise. Amen. For in Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. Amen. Please give Jesus a big hand clap and you may be seated. Hallelujah. God's method has always been and will always be his word. His method to lift is by his word. His method to bless is by his word. His method to change a man's level is by his word. His method to restore is by his word. Hallelujah. I would always liken the word of God to a tray, a serving tray. When you order a meal, usually it comes in a tray. And once you see the tray coming, the tray is not what you will eat, but you rejoice because on that tray, am I right on that? And so as this tray comes, for someone it comes with healing, for someone it comes with restoration, for someone it comes with lifting, for someone it comes with illumination in the name of Jesus. The second thing I want us to note very quickly as we delve into our discussion for tonight is that revelations create transitions. Yes, when God wants to move you, revelation is like a vehicle. It stops you from remaining at the same position. The moment the light of God comes to you, the revealed word, once it comes to you, it sustains the ability to transition you to a new realm, a new dimension, a new horizon. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1, it said, Son of man, stand up upon your feet and I will speak unto you. And he had no strength to arise from that position. Verse 2 says, And the Spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. Hallelujah. Someone by the light of God's word that is coming upon you, you are rising from that level. Amen. Say a believing amen. amen. You are rising from that position in the name of Jesus. For someone after this meeting, you will look at your former self and you will not find it again. Amen. You will so transition, you will be a marvel, a sign and a wonder to yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm sharing a few things along the lines of your theme, and I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will grant us understanding. Amen, amen and amen. When God calls a people, every time God wants to make a praise out of a people, he first calls them. Doesn't matter where he finds them. He calls them. That is the most important thing. He will find some like the prodigal son, lost. He will find some like the nation of Israel in Egypt, in bondage and captivity. It doesn't matter where he finds them. The most important thing is that the moment God calls you, it means you're ready to live where you are, to the place of prophecy and to the place of destiny. But when he calls men in order of spiritual priority, he does not call you to an assignment. He calls you to himself. Hallelujah. Out of your relationship with him, a mandate is born. Are we together now? The mandate is not without an encounter with the God of the Bible. In Colossians chapter 4 and verse 17, he says, Say unto Archippus that the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord, not from the Lord, in the Lord, it says that thou be faithful towards it, paraphrasing. So he's saying that when God calls men, he called the disciples to be with him and then that he might send them. 
So the protocol of how God leads people and grants them the mandate to be witnesses is that he finds them wherever he finds them. He calls them to himself. And then out of the abundance of that fellowship, that encounter, and the growth that comes from that encounter, he now sends them to represent him. It's important that we understand this because if you ever assume any task or any responsibility in this kingdom without an encounter with the one who sent you, you will fail. There is something only his presence can give men that becomes the reason why they succeed. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And it says to lean not on to your own understanding. The next verse says, in all your ways, acknowledge him, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Are we still together? So Moses began to pray. I hope you know that the nation of Israel were historically warriors even though they had been locked up in captivity for a period of 430 years. Here's Moses now. Moses brought them out of Egypt, uh, you know, to a land flowing with milk and honey. And whilst on that journey, Moses made a request and said, Lord, do not let us depart from here. We have every other thing. We left with gold. We left with riches. We left with supplies. But all those things stand useless if your presence does not go with us. So when God calls a people... He calls them to himself. And then, out of the abundance of what his presence does to them, he can send them fearlessly to the nations. It's important we have this. The second thing that I may want to point out, if you're writing, is that God's desire, and please, I want you to listen to this. God's desire for you and I, God's desire for every believer is that we eventually become a manifestation of the glory of God in experience. Please, I want you to listen. God's goal is not just to take us to heaven. Else there would be no need for teaching, there would be no need for church, there would be no need for the fivefold ministry. God's goal was not just to save us from sin, it was part of the program that ultimately his desire for you and I is that in and through our lives, please listen, that we eventually become a manifestation of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Is the Hebrew word kabod. The Greek is doxa. It means the weightiness of a thing. When you talk about the glory of a thing, you have to probe into the features of that thing. Why is it expensive? Why is it rare? Why is it desirable? So the glory of an electronic gadget is in the dexterity of its features, whether speed, whether accessibility. Are we together now? Yes. When you talk about the glory of God, you're talking about everything that makes God God. His wisdom, his favor, his power. So I'm saying that God's intent for you and I is that eventually, may not be immediately, eventually, that my life and your life becomes a holistic capture of the glory of God. That men can learn God as they look at your life. Your life becomes a living epistle. And if your life fails to achieve that in your lifetime, listen carefully, it does not matter whether you succeed career-wise, it does not matter whether you succeed in your vocation, you would have failed to represent God effectively to your generation. So God's goal is that eventually, my life and your life, that we become manifestations of the glory of God. If you believe that, shout a loud amen. amen. The meaning of that is that your results matter to God. Um, it's important, you cannot discuss the subject of being a sign and a wonder or an extraordinary believer if you do not come to a personal appreciation of the value of results. You need to know that results benefit more than the one producing it. The name of the Lord is at stake as far as the world of men is concerned. And your result was designed to be the system that brings credibility and honor to the name of the Lord. John chapter 15 and verse 8. 
the Bible says herein is our father glorified are we still together it says when ye bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples you justify the investment of the heavenly resources over your destiny when you produce results same John 15 and verse 16 it says you have not chosen me but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bear fruit are we Bible students it says and that your fruit should remain longevity of impact lasting your fruit should remain in Matthew chapter 5, Jesus was teaching in what we know theologically as the Beatitudes. When we get to verse 13, he begins a very interesting discussion. He says, ye are the salt of the earth. And the assignment of salt is twofold, to preserve and to add taste or value. He says, you are the salt of the earth. Then he says, but if the salt has lost its saltiness or its savour, he says, wherewith shall it be salted again? It is good for nothing except to be trodden, thrown down and trodden under foot of men. Then he says, you are the light of the world. You are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel, he says, but that it is put on the lampstand, the candlestick, and it gives light to everyone in the room. Verse 16 now says, let your light so shine. The word let means permit, allow, do not restrain. Allow your light to so shine, not before angels, not before spirit, to so shine. Someone say so shine. Prophesy, say so shine. Your light to shine to a level where it becomes impossible to be ignored. And he says, by so doing, you glorify your Father. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10 says, we are his workmanship. The workmanship of a man is an expression of his intelligence and creativity. We are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, unto, 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 this is the intent unto good works which God had preordained. I like the word preordained, meaning he's not scratching his head wondering what to make out of my life. It's a preordination. There is a dimension of glory he's already earmarked for the saints to step into. Are you understanding me so far? Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10. He says to the intent, Paul speaking, that now unto principalities and powers might be made known by the church, the ecclesia, the manifold, multifaceted wisdom of God. That means eventually the world should stand in awe when they look at a believer. A believer should be an object of wonder. A believer should be an object of praise. You should import a level of reality that is not easily affordable in the world of men. They would know that it takes God to produce this kind of result. There are things that are possible with men, but there are certain possibilities that implicate you immediately. It shows that you must have partnership with the Spirit. Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night, John chapter 3 from verse 1. He says, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher sent from God for no man can do these miracles which thou doest except there are results men cannot produce unassisted it is impossible the creativity the intelligence the power the wisdom of men cannot stretch them so far if you see an ordinary man produce that result it tells you that he's been assisted by God the meaning of all this is that from today your life ceases to be ordinary in the name of Jesus Christ that in every area of calling profession vocation you will import a level of excellence that is not ordinary you will import a level of wisdom and creativity that your life will be verses on the open people will look at you and learn God in a way they have never known you believe that shout amen so God desires that our lives capture results, results that bring glory to the name of the Lord. The third point I want you to take note of, I wrote here that every believer in Christ, now listen, what I said before now is the reason why I'm about to say a very profound statement that the empowerment of the believer is God's commitment 
to help achieve the goal I just explained. The value of spiritual empowerment is to this end, that believers be fruitful. Are we together? That believers produce, that believers advance, that believers become objects of praise, that while serving the purposes of the kingdom, your life does not fail to capture and reveal the glory of God. It is in support of that agenda that the subject of empowerment becomes necessary. I, made it, I wrote something here and I want you to listen. Every believer in Christ, I said, has access to the empowerment of the Spirit to make you an effective witness. But you see, access does not equal possession. Our discussion begins now. Every believer in Christ, the moment you confess the Lordship of Jesus over your life, according to Romans chapter 10, 9 and 10, according to John 3, 16, are we together now? The moment you confess the Lordship in order of spiritual priority, this is the first port of call. That in your pursuit to becoming like God, living a life of excellence and beauty and glory, it is important you follow the protocol. The protocol number one is an encounter with the Son of God, Jesus. You can encounter a man of God, you can encounter religion, you can encounter a church. None of them in themselves can impart eternal life. The Bible says this is the record that God had given us eternal life. But he structured eternal life such that you must encounter the Son to have that life. He says, he that does not have the Son does not have life. Do we agree? Yes. So when you receive the Son, it's important for you to know that there are dimensions beyond that initial salvation experience. Leading to empowerment. The empowerment of the Spirit is vital and is necessary to the ex for the excelling of the saints. If you are not empowered, you will live an ineffective life. Ineffective in every sense and in every ramification. Now, Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 18. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 18 makes a very profound statement. Um, okay, beautiful. I want us to read it together if you see it projected. Ready? One, two, read. Uh huh. Thank you. It says, I and the children that the Lord has given me. Your child there does not just mean a biological person. Anything that comes out of you is your child. Your business is your child. Your vision is your child. It says, I and the children that the Lord has given me. I and the business that the Lord has given me. I and the school that the Lord has given me. I and the church that the Lord has given me. Everything around you, he says, we are for signs and for wonders in Israel. Signs and for wonders in Lagos, in Nigeria, in Africa. Are we together now? I and the children that the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders. The Bible tells us in Zechariah chapter 8 and verse 23. Zechariah 8 and verse 23. Please give it to us so that I'll tie up a few things. Zechariah 8 and verse 23. My goodness. Profound scripture. Let's know when you find it, media, Zechariah chapter 8 and verse 23. Let me pull it up here very quickly. Beautiful. It says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, in those days, someone said these are the days. In those days it shall come to pass, uh -huh, that ten men shall take hold out of all the languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, a covenant person, saying, we will go with you. We will go with you for we have heard. This is why we will go with you. 
we have heard that God is with you. We have seen the results from your business. We have seen the results from your life. It is clear, unmistakably clear that God is with you. The Bible says they will come. Reminds me of Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. It says, arise, amplified, says from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. It says, rise to a new light. Arise, shine, it says, for your light is come. And the glory, there you have it again. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. It says, for darkness shall cover the earth. Is the expression to who are bohu, confusion and chaos and gross darkness, the people. It says, but upon you, the glory of God shall arise. I like verse 3, my God, I receive it as a prophecy for myself. That Gentiles shall come to your light. Gentiles. He never said they will come to you. No. Gentiles shall come to your light and their kings to the brightness of your rising Gentiles shall come to your light they are kings to the brightness of your rising Gentiles shall come to your light they won't ask you where you are coming from mm -mm. Mm -mm. provided you carry that light the world is too dark for light bearers to be ignored no are we together but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my hand. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my hand. I like that part. You're my glory, the lifter up of my hand. Someone prophesied. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. It doesn't matter what the devil does. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. Let me give you three keys tonight, very quickly within the time that I have. I came to share with you three keys that can cause any man to become in experience a sign and a wonder not just to produce signs and wonders but to become a personification of this realm and this reality a sign and a wonder that your life becomes a fulfillment of prophecy when people see you they remember everything God has said because your life becomes they can see verses being fulfilled in your life when they look at your life they can see Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 that you shall be exalted above the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you they look at your life and you are like a well watered garden your life becomes an explanation of the faithfulness of God the grace of God made manifest. Do you believe that? Please, I want you to lend me your attention for the next few minutes. Because you see, I told you that according to Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 6, the Bible says that the God of our Father had blessed us with all spiritual blessings. 1, 3. Ephesians 1, 3 had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. These are prophetic realities finished in Christ. But you see, the new birth gives the believer access, not just experience, access. Access does not equal possession. Access means that the, the possibility for possession has been created. Are we together now? If I gave you a check of a million naira, um, it is safe to begin negotiations with that check if you trust me. But if the person needs cash, there is a technology that has to convert that check to cash. Are we together? So you can hold a check like a piece of paper and yet you will be surprised that you will not be able to do much with it. If you say, I am a million naira richer, you are not lying. But your lack, your inability to cash that check will eventually make you look like a liar. So I can't call you a liar because I see a check on your hand. But you are not able to make any purchases with it necessarily. You see that now. 
So access does not equal possession. There are many believers in the body of Christ bragging over access. And that is not wrong except that there has to be a technology of conversion to turn access to possession. The Bible says the word became flesh. The word became flesh. There was a conversion process. It became flesh. Then it dwelt among us as flesh. Then the Bible says we beheld. We beheld. The word became flesh. The business was made manifest. The favor was made manifest. For as long as we keep claiming things that never find expression in our world, we mock ourselves and our convictions. The Christian experience was never supposed to just be believed arbitrarily. You start by believing, but you can taste and see that the Lord is good. There is an experience. Are we together now? The Bible says in Acts chapter 8, I hope we're still together. Acts chapter 8 from verse 5, it says, Philip went down to Samaria and there he preached Christ unto them. And that the people gave heed with one accord, listening intently to the things that Philip spake. Why? Because they heard, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. He did not just carry grammar or language. When he said God lifts, they saw that God lifts. When he said God restore, it's important for people to see what you are saying God can do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I and the children that the Lord has given me, we are for signs and wonders. Key number one, for every believer who means business with God, business with destiny, and you intend to become a manifestation of this prophetic word, that nations, men, all and sundry will call you a sign and a wonder. The first key is that you must have an experience with the God of the Bible. Now, don't assume you understand what I just said. Please follow carefully. You must have an experience with the God of the Bible. I would always make reference to a statement that I heard and I learned years ago. The God you know is the God you reveal to your world. You cannot reveal a lifting God when you have not encountered him as a lifting God. The God you know, the one you meet, is the one you reveal to your world. I hope you know that the God of Abraham is still the God of Isaac, is still the God of Jacob. But his revelation according to these names is not the same. No. There is what the God of Abraham alone can do that the revelation of him as the God of Isaac will not do. What Jaira would do is not what Rapha will do, although it is the same God. Are we together now? Yes. So the God that you encounter is the one you reveal to your world. If your revelation of God is weak and impotent, it is because your encounter is the same, weak and impotent. Moses said, who shall I tell Pharaoh has sent me? I cannot go and stand before Pharaoh and advocate an exodus just blindly. Let my people go. Pharaoh will say, what is the meaning of that? Where was that God for 430 years while these people were in captivity? And Moses said, the issue is not the captivity. The issue is not Pharaoh. The issue is not your people. The issue is me and you. Who shall I tell them has sent me? I assure you that life and destiny will ask you this question. Who sent you? Who sent you that you want to build the biggest business across Africa? By what audacity? Do you know the controlling spirits that have tied and destroyed lives? Who sent you? Life will ask you. Who sent you that you intend to be the first person from your family to rise and lift up the name of Jesus Christ? Who sent you? The God you know is the one you reveal to your world. Knowing another man's God is a good starting point, but you must get to a point where he becomes your God. Paul said, but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded Is someone learning? Your conviction in this kingdom is a product of the depth of your encounter. Please listen, believers. 
Many times believers do not take time to know God. They just brush over and the next thing they jump to principles wanting to succeed, wanting to excel. It does not happen that way. No time invested in knowing God is a waste. No time. If you have 10 days for exploits and you use 9 days to know God, you were not foolish. Because the Bible says, Daniel 11 and verse 32, but the people, he never said but everyone, the people that do know their God, they shall be capacity. Number two, they shall do exploits, not talk exploits, not explain exploits. The people that do know their God, the people that do know the lifter, the people that do know the restorer, the people that do know the helper, you are strengthened in the place of encounters. The reason why we fall off when things happen around our lives, good or bad, is because our encounters are not deep enough to keep us strong. And so we ask God all kinds of questions. There's something you know about God that you laugh at failure as it laughs at you until it leaves. You will worry failure through your confidence and it will leave. Because there is something you know about God. For instance, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid of? Is that in your Bible? Did you ever read in your Bible that a thousand shall fall by your side? and 10,000 by your right side, but that none will hurt you. With your eyes shall you see and behold the reward of the wicked. Is it in your Bible that I lay me down and I slept some tree? It says, I wait for the Lord sustain me. Who sustains men? The Lord. Do you believe this about God? You see, your confidence and your audacity in life, I'm not talking of bragging. I'm not talking of pride. I'm talking of confidence that is built on account of the God you have met. Let me tell you this. Life has a very nasty way of bullying men. Did you hear what I said? It will use the reference of your background to bully you. Satan will move through systems and structures and probe you. You think you can become anything. You ask Gideon why he was hiding. Life for you. Life can bully a warrior to hide but when he came he called him by his destiny you are a mighty man or fellow I wonder how many mighty men have been in hiding because they have not met a mighty God when you meet a mighty God you cannot be a weak man because the Bible says as we behold him we are changed not into what we want into what we are beholding is someone learning now you need an encounter with God. You are a man of God here. You need an encounter with God. A businessman, an encounter with God. God has called you to be a witness, advancing the purposes of the kingdom. I tell you, life will bully you into mediocrity if you do not know God. Men will look at you and say, you do not add up. You can't be the director in that company. By what parameters? Ah, when Saul looked at David, he said, David, I love you. You're a little boy. I, I love you too much to allow you die a miserable death in front of Goliath. And David said, King, you're a warrior. I'm a teenager. But let me tell you a story you do not know about me. Once upon a time, whilst I was in the wilderness, no Instagram, no Facebook, no one to snap me and let the world see while I was in that wilderness, listen carefully, a lion came. There was no help, so I learned how to depend on God. A bear came. There was no help. I, I learned from the wilderness the vanity of the help of men without God. And I tore it with my bare hands. In other words, king, you are a warrior. Do men have the ability to tear animals by their own strength? But not when the spirit of might comes on a man. He said it is that audacity 
that sponsors my confidence allow me to take care of Goliath and Saul now carried his armory you see what God trains you with is what you will use in battle if God trained you with prayer don't use another tool if God trained you with scripture don't use another tool are we together now if God trained you with wisdom pay attention to the tools that are used during your training process that is what will bring Goliath nothing wrong with the armory of Saul there are many believers after many years of investment with the spirit the world now begins to tell you drop your tools no prayer drop that prayer it doesn't make sense drop fasting it doesn't make sense drop the word it doesn't make sense wisdom oh no relationships not exactly drop them and before you know it you are in battle with tools you were not trained to use Are we learning? Yeah. And David returned it to Saul and said, I will use what he trained me with. Yeah. When he stood before Goliath, Goliath said, am I a dog? Israel, you bring this little boy, I will kill him. Killing him is not the issue, it's how I would do it. I mean, you want me to give you a very bad memory? I mean, am I a dog? And David kept quiet. Silence is not fear. <laughs> Silence is not fear. Let me tell you the truth. When mighty men are silent, it is wisdom walking. Ask Jesus. When they met Jesus and brought a woman who was caught in adultery, you would think because sometimes knowledge without wisdom makes you talk yourself even to failure silence and he wrote on the ground maybe that's what Adam and Eve would have done if they were a little silent the Bible says even a fool when he's silent is regarded silence can create perceptions and he writes down <laughs> and then he says he who is without sin should cast the first stone and that was the end of it so David stands before Goliath and says, Goliath, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? You come to me with your bows. You come to me with your spears. But I come to you in a name. There is a God that I met in the wilderness. He's a warrior too. He trains men to fight. He says, by you I will run through a troop. And by my God, I will leap over a wall. No, you don't have that capacity to leap over a wall. You try that, you'll go to the hospital. But not when God is holding your hands. I'm saying this to someone. Listen, I want you to believe what you are hearing me say. God can help men. Did you hear what I said? God can help men. He can help ordinary men to be extraordinary. I'm telling you, God can help men. Woe betides the man who stands the way of a man God is helping. God can help men. God can help men. Maybe this is a prophetic word for someone. You have done everything in your own strength. Intellectual strength. Financial strength. Let me tell you the truth. God can help men. And help has two assignments. To make things possible and to make things easy. When God comes to help you, the intent behind his providing help is to make things possible and then to make things easy. Hallelujah. An encounter with God. Great men in the kingdom are made on the strength of their encounters with the God of the Bible. I can share with you stories, stories in my own life. And I'm grateful to God for the honor of the many encounters he's given me. When I talk of encounters, I'm not limiting it to supernatural visionary encounters. The Lord appeared unto Samuel in Shiloh by his word. God can appear to men by his word, giving light even from scripture. It doesn't always have to be a visionary, out-of-body encounter. Not everybody may have the privilege of meeting Jesus as a person, encountering angels. No, 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 no. But once you can encounter his word, 
his word not just the letter the spirit behind it you can read every day fear not but the daylight comes from that scripture you see that it comes with a grace that empowers you to fear not that what would have made you afraid will no longer make you afraid because light has come from scripture listen to me ladies and gentlemen spend time to know God by his word don't be ignorant if you want to excel in life and destiny the God that you know the truths that you know that is what will give you confidence is what will give you audacity many years ago I read a few things in scripture and looking from hindsight now sometimes I'm tempted to laugh at myself but I was foolish enough to believe God and I was foolish enough to believe them there is nothing God has said concerning my life that I do not believe because every time you believe he gives you power to become as many as believed him he gave them there is a gift that follows believing it's called the power to become say it after me the power to become one more time the power to become what you have believed is given after you believe not before the power to become you believe that God lifts you the power to be lifted is released you believe that God is your salvation the power to become happens when you can believe him enough hallelujah you need an encounter with the God of the Bible you need an encounter God is calling you to ministry here don't rush to go and print handbills and posters no know the God of the Bible infirmities and sicknesses and curses and yokes that are upon the people you are sent to the spirits behind them will ask you who sent you it's a question if you cannot answer you will remain defeated forever do you believe that yes. how about the business world you may say I'm not called into the fivefold ministry my God you need the revelation of God more in business in fact in my opinion because the king of Tyre there is a spirit that sits upon that marketplace Satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church yeah because he knows what the wealth of the kingdom can do in the hands of people who love Jesus you may have heard me say in my teachings that the name of Jesus is very heavy it takes resources to lift it high for the nations to see are we together and so he comes to steal he comes to kill he comes to destroy but the people that do know their God the people that do know their God the preachers that do know their God the businessmen that do know their God fountain of life if you do know your God the Bible says you shall be strong capacity strength inner strength emotional strength intellectual strength and then it says you shall do exploits do exploits everything that brings glory to the name of the Lord becomes your business do exploits testimonies from your life men will look at you and you do not add up but that becomes your concern you see that as for you you will keep leaping by the Spirit and one day you look at yourself and say, what is my business doing in 15 nations of the earth? How did I start? And when people come to ask you, you say, well, I cannot boast of knowing any, everything. But the one thing I do know <laughs> is that when God holds your hand, I'm praying that you are believing what I'm telling you. My sister, God can hold your hand and transition you from a level of suffering and mediocrity God can hold the hands of a preacher God can hold the hand of an ordinary family for want of expression and every time you see people extraordinary in the kingdom let me tell you it is because God has helped them and that help comes when you encounter the God of the Bible I look at my life today and with all humility sometimes I'm not a very emotional person I've tried and tried to be it just didn't work and I told myself there's there's no point 
I'm sure one day it will come on its own. But there are a few times I cry. And that is when I reflect on what is made out of my life. I look at my life and sometimes I say only a fool says God does not help men. Honestly. There are things that God does in your life that you are the first person to be shocked before those who hear. He says, when the Lord turn again the captivity. Am I prophesying or I'm just speaking? When the Lord turn again that captivity, owing in business, failing in destiny, trusting God for the fruit of the womb, in the midst of mockers and naysayers but when God comes <laughs> and just picks you sometimes it can be overnight let me stand by the grace of God and speak over someone that by the power that raised Christ from the dead if you have the faith to believe this everything that has left you in shame reproach caused you to cry personally corporately I call upon my God who is also your God come out of that situation now come out of that situation now come out of that financial situation come out of that health situation come out of that business situation come out of that career situation in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated Can I sing a song for you? I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified receive manifest his power and his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted receive manifest your power and your wisdom Lord till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. It's a prayer tonight. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe. Sing it one more time from the depth of your heart. That something from heaven will rest upon your destiny. Till the nations see Jesus. Till the nations see Jesus. Till the nations see Jesus. Lifted up, glorified. Listen to me. I'm singing it for you, but it's your life and your results that will do the singing. Amen. The kind of results that will begin to flow from your life. And I'm speaking this upon you. And in this church, you will begin to see extraordinary manifestations. Manifestations of power. Manifestations of wisdom. That ordinary people will walk into this church and encounter Ebenezer. Amen the God that lifts men. 
the God that helps man, the God that rewrites the stories of man. Where a little one becomes a thousand. A little one becomes a thousand. That God will fish help us from around the nation and bring them to your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated. An encounter with God gives you confidence, gives you audacity. Do you know why God brings you to a point of encounter? Because the assignment that follows that encounter, only the man who has seen God can do it. If you don't have an encounter with God, you will run away from the assignment he gives you. It will never be in the strength of the flesh for you to achieve divine purposes. No. When God tells you a thing you can do, you most likely had a demon. Because God will tell you something that that version of you cannot do it. Not in the strength of the flesh. He will always tell you what will make you need him to get the job done. Is someone learning? Why would you cut 12 ordinary, untrained people from fishermen and all of that and you want to commit such a mandate to them? Haven't never learned anything? Is that a wise leadership strategy? Many of you here are leaders. You've stretched your intelligence. You've been trained by some of the best institutions. Would you carry such a weak? Do you know that in selecting the disciples who would later become apostles, no man assisted Jesus? So you would not say human factors came in. How do you fast all night as the word incarnate and select the kind of weak people Jesus selected? But the question is, was the job done? That is called the wisdom of the just. Sometimes it may not subscribe to logic, but within that weakness is tremendous strength. Are we together? You need an encounter with God. I'm speaking to someone here because after this conference, you should go and buy books. For some of you, after this conference, your retreat starts. Three days with God crying and saying, Lord, don't send me if you are not going to reveal yourself to me. Who shall I tell Pharaoh has sent me? You are sending me to be a financial apostle, a kingdom entrepreneur. Lord, I don't want to, this is not about money, it's not about buying and selling. Wealth is warfare. The Bible says strong men retain wealth. Wise men get wealth, but strong men retain wealth. It takes beyond creativity to retain wealth. Intelligence, value that is served intelligently can bring you wealth. But it takes strength and capacity. When you prosper and remain prosperous, it's not a product of intelligence again. There is strength. Are we learning? Let me rush the remaining two and then we're done for tonight. But for someone, you came here to hear a message that you need an encounter with God. The encounter you've had hitherto is not sufficient, I tell you sincerely, not for the assignment God is giving you. You need to go back and cry. I need to know you. You are sending me like Aura Roberts, giving me the healing of anointing to go to the nations. Make sure you stay and know the healer. You will see cases that will rattle your faith. It is the revelation of the healer that will keep you audacious. God is granting you grace to be an intercessor to shift the spiritual climate over nations. You must know God. If not, by the time your consistency in prayer opens you up to visions and you see certain demons and spirits, you will stop praying and literally run for your life and say, this vision is not worth it. What is this strange being that I'm seeing? But you need to know the one who has sent you. So you can look at those spirits and say, I come against you. The spirits that have held onto territories. And you swing open the gates of territories for the purposes of God to thrive. 
you need an encounter with God. Number two. The second key. You need faith. Hmm. Becoming a sign and a wonder subscribes to the law of faith. Please someone say the law of faith. Faith is a law. The Bible says so. In addition to having an encounter with the the God of the Bible, you need faith. Four times in scripture, the Bible says the just shall live by faith. To live by faith means you prosper by faith. To live by faith means you go forward by faith. That the entire scope of the believer's experience is faith dependent. Faith dependent. What is faith? Your persuasion, the depth of your conviction, about God and the integrity of his person and then the corresponding action that you take to support that conviction faith is beyond believing faith is beyond agreeing with God you can agree with God and yet you're not walking by faith the proof of faith in one word is obedience whatsoever he tells you to do do it not see it not explain, not want to do it. Whatsoever he says to do, do it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2, the Bible says, It shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to do and observe all that I command you this day. To do and observe. Observe and do. Observe and do. Observe and do. Not just listen. Observe and do. It says you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth. I saw this scripture many years ago and I believed it. Exalted. It was not a parable. A man can be exalted such that you are void of shame regardless where you go to. Provided it is this earth, there is honor preserved for you by reason of light. Exalted above the nations of the earth and that these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. I believe that. It says, if they are willing and obedient, they shall eat the good of the land. Please hear me, there is good in every land. But it is faith that delivers your portion. Do you believe that? There is good in Lagos. The increase of the earth is for all. The Bible says, even the king is fed by that which comes from the field. That means in this earth, it is not that God decided to bless others and leave others. The increase of the earth is for all. But it takes faith to command your portion. It takes faith to insist on your portion. Are we together now? Jesus queried unbelief many times. He queried unbelief everywhere he saw it. Mark chapter 11 from verse 22, 23, 24, but particularly verse 24. After Jesus caused the fig tree, they came by the morning and they saw that the tree had been cursed. And Jesus said in verse 22, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, say desire. One more time, say desire. It says, When you pray, believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. The just shall live by faith. The businessman shall live by faith. I learned early in life that there are no guarantees anywhere. The pursuit and the passion for guarantee is a waste of time. There are no guarantees. The strongest of men and systems still fail. There are no guarantees anywhere. You are going to have to trust God sooner or later and jump out of that boat and walk on water. Sometimes you will not even have the encouragement of other apostles, but you are going to have to trust God to walk on water. You want to build that house? There are no guarantees. One day you have to get up and buy, even if it's five bags of cement. That is all you have, but start by faith. Are we together? Faith. Ministry is done by faith. This morning, when the pastors got up, you did not sign on any form that you'll be here by evening. There are no guarantees. It took faith. While they cleaned and organized this place, they knew what God told them about this conference. And it made them to continue even when this place was empty. Now here you are. You see that now? 
We live in a world that is obsessed with guarantees. Now, I'm not saying be careless and be reckless with your life, but believe me, any man who has attained a position of exploit in business, in life, in destiny, they would tell you there were times they honestly broke the rules to rise. It will not always be about quietly, meticulously following the path of least resistance. There are times you have to jump out of that boat. Surprisingly, if he's the one who tells you to come, he doesn't allow you sink. He will defend his name even when you fall. If it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. He never said, Peter, come. It was to be everybody's experience. But the person who jumped out of the boat was the person who the testimony became around. He never said, Peter, come. If he said, Peter, come, any one of them coming now will be disobedience. But he said, come. He's still telling people to come. He didn't stop with Peter. For some of you, he's been saying, come for years. Come, come, rise higher in ministry, come, draw closer. I, you can become a greater version of yourself. But many of us are still having the fear of the other apostles. We are in the boat commenting on those who are walking and say, you see, I knew this would have been me. Not realizing that Peter only started sinking, he did not sink. Jesus held his hands. Are we together now? The assignment was to walk on water. Did Peter walk on water? The assignment is to prosper. If he says, come, will you prosper? It doesn't matter how many times you try to sink. When his hand holds you, the most important thing is that the assignment gets done. Are we together? Apostle, but I've tried and tried and tried and tried to have the child. I've done everything. Why don't you trust God again that after this conference, you begin to count your days? He said, Master, we have toiled all night. He didn't bring another sea, didn't bring another boat, the same thing. But he just added his word to it. Nevertheless, that's the factor, add thy word. It is impossible to walk by faith when you are ignorant of the promises of God. You need to know the promises of God representations of his commitment towards your life and your destiny. Spare me a minute to give you the third key and then we wrap up. But it's important for you to know that you need faith if you must succeed. You need faith to do ministry. You need faith to excel in Nigeria. Come on, Nigerians. Huh? Have you forgotten? There are too many things to remind you in this nation every day that you need faith. All you need to do is to wake up. <laughs> Nigeria for you. All you need to do is to wake up and you will find out that there is a reason from, from your first stretch on the bed. You are reminded by everything around you that if you dare throw faith away. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, with all due respect, you know how many pastors plunged to depression after COVID? Because for many of them, they had contracts of bills for auditoriums they were paying, and it didn't matter. The people said, well, we're sorry, but COVID affected everybody, including me. The contract still stands, as discussed. How about the three months, no church, no service, no offering? Well, go and discuss it with the God who sent you. But as far as this contract is concerned, there are people who never recovered, there are people who plunge into depression. Am I right? There are businesses that went down never to rise up. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No wall you will keep down, lie you will tear down, coming after me. No shadow you will light up. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, no wall you won't kick down, I won't tear down, coming after me. Hear me, I rebuke the spirit of fear. 
for some of you if you keep giving flimsy excuses you will never make progress you will watch others come behind you not to compare some of you have been given excuses from time immemorial why have uh, you know I, I need to calculate how I cause fear right now in the name of Jesus I cause fear right now my God has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind hear me fountain of life I cause fear the fear of death the fear of sickness the fear of failure I call it by name and I cause it by the God of heaven the righteous is as bold as a lion listen let me challenge you go and register that company after this conference all you have is the money for registration go and register it what do I do next place the CAC document on the ground and keep praying every day pray with your pen and paper let me tell you the truth fear is a cancer that has pegged many destinies there are people who fear they fear to their detriment it's better to fail honorably trying than to sit down giving flimsy excuses many of you have watched your vision transferred to people those who had the courage God gave you ideas you kept giving explanation he took it to somebody somewhere and the person began to run like Elijah and that vision has come to pass and you keep biting your finger and I saw this you are not the only one who saw it visions are like rainfall whoever brings out a container receives it are we together last year the Lord gave me an instruction to go and hold a conference in Manchester the largest indoor auditorium theater in the whole of the United Kingdom and that is a risk to hold a conference during a weekday and then the Lord gave me an instruction there he said there is a narrative about the church that I want to correct and because of that you're not going to raise any offering you will not collect any offering we had a workforce of over 2,000 plus five people and he says you will feed every one of them go and preach get that place filled up pay everything do everything and return I wasn't born in UK if you don't have faith you see ba, no matter how you make in in Africa we call it mouth you make mouth and all of that you'll be embarrassed to a point that your failure becomes a memorial that every time people want to warn others they say remember this person hmm. hallelujah when God brought great glory to his name I remember on my way back I said but God I fear you I fear you I fear you I fear you there is nothing God cannot do oh because I said it you didn't believe okay there is nothing you cannot do maybe if I sing it you will believe it have a track record of keeping your word you're not about to stop doing it now oh, oh, oh. you are my Lord. hallelujah so number one you need an encounter with the God of the Bible if you truly intend to be a sign and a wonder number two you need to understand the law of faith faith is predicated upon light illumination an awareness of the promises of God I call them exceeding great and precious promises number three 
what is the third and final key for tonight and I want you to be sensitive now as we pray the third key that will turn anyone to be a sign and a wonder is spiritual empowerment the anointing of the Holy Spirit hmm. yes sir Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about like he wants you to go about doing good healing all day that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him Isaiah chapter 61 the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me let me tell you the truth the anointing of the Holy Spirit is more than oil it's just represented in oil or mantles or whatever it is that you use oil does not anoint until the oil is anointed itself are we together now yes. so the anointing of the Holy Spirit is the engracing that comes from God please listen upon a life it is the empowerment that transits you from a believer to a witness the empowerment that transits you from a believer to a witness from one who merely agrees with God to one who demonstrates that God is alive you become a validator of God's claims when that anointing rests upon you now I'm not because um, I'm just touching on it but for you to know that there are different levels and there are different dimensions of the anointing every level of result in the kingdom is sponsored by the anointing when you see extraordinary manifestations of the spirit happen when you see people prosper in the kingdom there is something called the power to prosper the power to prosper has nothing to do with money unfortunately it's been wrongly understood and even taught the power to prosper is not a financial anointing no the power to prosper is the grace for advancement that is what makes people go forward you cannot move forward if you don't have the power to prosper finances is only a byproduct it's a minute fraction of what that anointing was mandated to do when God wants to help a man there are three ways he helps that man number one he exposes that man to his mercy the ministry of mercy is the first way God helps men number two the ministry of men when God wants to help a man he sends you men every time you are saying God help me it's important to know how your answers look like if you don't know how your answers look like you will make the mistake they made in Acts chapter 12 they prayed for the release of Peter Peter was now released he came and knocked the door they opened it and shot it at him and kept praying because they didn't know what their answers should look like you must know what your answer looks like when you are saying God help me in Lagos how will the answer look like mercy two men three the anointing he helps men by placing something upon their lives that produces godlike dimensions of results listen there is no man who can do these things except God be with him Nicodemus said I'm saying this because I'm about to speak over your life most of you you've prayed you have fasted you've said Lord take me to a higher realm can I tell you yesterday's anointing cannot produce today's results you will need to be empowered again and again here's how it works thou anointest my head with oil watch this now but my cup runneth over he does not anoint the cup you only use the cup to verify what is on your head thou anointest my head with oil the ministry runs over the business runs over so when the cup is failing don't blame the cup the cup is failing because the head is empty leave what you are hearing 
There are various kinds of anointings. There is an anointing for influence. You can be as vocal and as intelligent as you are. A generation will not hear you until that anointing is upon you. I call it the hear ye him anointing. But when it comes, God will raise men from anywhere to anywhere to hearken to you. There is the grace for speed that gives men acceleration in life. Because the most expensive commodity on earth according to scripture from a human standpoint is time. And the moment time is against you, you are already in trouble. Destiny is measured as a function of time. So there are two remedies when time is against you. One is called speed. Two is called restoration. And when God wants to really help you, he brings both. Are we together? You know what it means to give speed? Much is accomplished per unit time. That's speed. You know what it means to restore? To take the events that you missed and bring them into your future. Or you think God cannot do that? So the helper who would have helped you last year, but because of insensitivity, God reprograms it again. When you watch a movie, technology has been able to help us understand how restoration is. So you're watching a movie and you had to rush to use the restroom. By the time you're back, something has passed you, but there is an ability to go back. Now, it is not the time. The time has gone physically, but you can reschedule that event again. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the truth. And I submit to you, Fountain of Life, one of the greatest secrets in my life and the life of any great man I know in the kingdom is the privilege of being genuinely anointed. You are not going to be a blessing if you are not anointed. Your real ordination is the anointing. Did you hear what I said? Your real ordination to ordain means to legitimize your operation. Your real ordination is the anointing. You cannot do the work of God without the anointing. You can sing, but you cannot bless till you are anointed. Are we together? You can preach articulately so, intelligently so. But you will be surprised that what you are preaching, regardless the value, it keeps falling on deaf ears, void of potency and the power to transform. The missing ingredient is not knowledge, is that that engracing is not there. There are people you need the anointing to do business and to excel in it. There is an anointing that helps you excel in the marketplace. It works like a charm. You can see someone and know by that anointing that this guy is worth my partnership. He will be great tomorrow. There are no guarantees. It's a knowing sponsored by that anointing. People have called it all kinds of names, but the Bible calls it the anointing. There is a grace for wisdom. Wisdom beyond your age. You will run an organization like 30 people in one when that grace comes upon you. Are we together now? So that when we begin to pray, my apologies, I know I've stretched you. But even if it's just a minute, don't look at the areas in your life that are not working. It tells you where the anointing is deficient. So that you cry with intelligence. Are we together? There is a cry that is with intelligence. The cry of blind Bartimeo. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. There is a cry that is mere lamentation that does not call for help. But there is a cry with intelligence. Lord, you have helped me, but this area of finances, why is it not opening up? Don't give excuses. This area of favor, you've called me to be an intercessor. But the moment I begin to pray after five minutes, I'm yawning myself to sleep. There's something that needs to quicken you and come upon you. Are we together? I open up the Bible to study and I'm sleeping. But when I close it, I can be on social media or on my call for a long time. Something is wrong. But I'm praying for someone tonight. 
something you didn't enter this building with will live with you you didn't hear what I said that when you were living home you came like Saul when Saul left his father's house he didn't carry the anointing he went back with but when he met Samuel Samuel said is it not because God has ordained you listen I like what Samuel told Saul I think that's where we we'll end this meeting with is it not because the Lord has anointed you not to be king to be captain over his inheritance captain over his inheritance you need to know what God has first to know when he makes you captain the cattle on a thousand hill belongs to the Lord the earth itself is the Lord when God makes you captain over his inheritance you are captain over his resources you are captain over this is beyond being a king Samuel said I will tell you why I'm anointed I'm anointing you the Lord has made you captain over his inheritance captain over his inheritance captain over his resources captain over his program you're going to pray one prayer father the kind of encounter I need to be a sign and a wonder let it rest upon me now go ahead and pray with power in the next one minute pray pray cry from the depth of your heart the grace for favor pray the grace for speed the grace for restoration someone pray that every area of your life where you've not seen the glory of God manifest you can pray and even if you've seen the glory of God in that area it can be from glory to glory from glory to glory If Jesus increased, you can increase. If Jesus increased in wisdom, you can increase in wisdom. If Jesus increased in stature, you can increase in stature. If Jesus increased in favor, my life by this anointing must become a manifestation of the glory of God. In Jesus name we pray hallelujah do you believe in prophecy can I speak over your life you see the prophetic has been abused to a point that the life and the power that comes from it is no longer seen unfortunately and sadly and I know God is helping his body on that wise but let me tell you the truth there are certain realms in the spirit you can never enter until the prophetic comes to midwife your journey. As powerful as Jesus was when he walked upon the earth, three prophets had to play a role in his life, otherwise he would not rise. Number one was Simeon the prophet. Number two was Anna the prophetess. Number three was John the Baptist himself. Otherwise Jesus would have failed as Jesus, the word incarnate. Among the many factors that control results in this kingdom is the power of the prophetic. The prophetic can recalibrate climates. And you believe me when I say that. Recalibrate climates. There are two dimensions to the prophetic. There is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic where God reveals details about your life, brings edification, comfort, builds your faith and gives you direction. But the more superior dimension to the prophetic is the creative dimension. It makes things to happen that had no business happening. When the prophet said, by this time tomorrow, 
he was not revealing what would have happened anyway no no he made it happen so the creative dimension of the prophetic scans events that are consistent with the will of God and with the creativity of a movie director he picks those events and makes them manifest in your life that means on your way out from this church you were not supposed to meet a destiny helper but the prophetic can come upon your life listen to me believe what you are hearing it can place someone on the road who has no business going there so when God says I'm going to lift you you see what happens is that the spirit of wisdom moves in honor to that prophecy if it is of God and begins to source for the human actors that must participate with prophecy to make it happen now men of their own accord can reject that prophetic word it will keep scanning around Lagos until it finds a man and then it positions that man and acts out the manifestation of that prophecy I pray for you in the name that is above all names every door that has been closed over your life I stand by the God who has called me and I speak to that door fountain of life that door opens now 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 Everything upon your life that represents witchcraft and the activity of darkness, manipulations of familiar spirits, orchestrations of dark powers, I come in the name of the Lord and by the agency of the blood, I decree and declare that spiritual climate is shifted over your life. That climate is shifted over your life, shifted over your family, shifted over your life, shifted over your family shifted over your life in this kingdom hear me believers who hates you does not matter don't worry about who hates you but who likes you that is the person you should be concerned about are we together if you are Esther don't worry about her man your concern should be Ahasuerus that is the one who can make you king and that is the one who can remove you in the name of Jesus everyone ordained to be a helper by God who is yet to show up in your life by the power of prophecy I compel them to show up in your life I compel them to show up in your life show up in your business show up in your ministry in the name of Jesus Christ You have lost relationships. Help those under the anointing. You have lost money. You have lost many things. But restoration is a possibility. I want to place something upon your head. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over you. Between now and the end of May, I call upon the God of heaven that everything you have lost right from last year into this year you have the faith to believe it I declare restore 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 in the name of Jesus hallelujah let me speak over those trusting God for a job. One time Jesus sent people, he gave a parable to look for men to go and walk in the vineyard. He met others who agreed for a denary. Later on he was still looking for people and there were some unemployed people. And he said, why sittest thou idle? He said, no man employs us. And immediately he spoke, there was, a, there was something for them to do. I pray for you, your space in this Lagos, 
or in Nigeria or in Africa or in any nation of the world I push you by prophecy to that space I push you by prophecy to that space in the name of Jesus fountain of life hear the word of the Lord you are stepping into your season of laughter I want you to write it down I'm saying it to you by the Spirit of the Living God Sarah said and all those who hear this will laugh with me this is what the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you and in the name that is above all names the grace that backs that prophetic word I release it upon you laughter in your homes laughter in your job laughter in this church for the bible says though weeping endures for, but for the moment and even with the night it says but joy i prophesy to you enter your season of laughter testimonies upon testimonies god will turn your life around turn your life around Turn your destinies around in the name of Jesus. And every force that has found that you must cry and remain crying as a family, as individuals, I curse it right now. Again, I repeat, step into your season of laughter. Please stand. Let's stand. Laughter is connected to victory. You don't laugh during trainings. Laughter is also connected to completion. You go and investigate the meaning of laughter. Laughter like tongues is a mystery. That is the reason why even babies laugh. They have no knowledge yet they laugh. Because it's a mystery. Sarah cried for many years but she laughed when Isaac came that means laughter is also associated with the birthing of new things new visions children barring people who have not carried children will stand on this altar and celebrate twins and triplets so shall it be in Jesus name before I make the altar call, I agree with every servant of God here, following online, and the fathers over this commission, by the privilege of God's grace, and through the ministry of intercession, we pray that the fountain of life will not go down. We pray for the entire pastorate, Pastor Jimmy, Pastor Toto, and the eldership, that the mercies of the God of David. God had a covenant with David that you will never lack someone upon this throne. In the name of Jesus, we reenact that covenant upon this church. For the sake of the many years of labor, sacrifice, and investment in the gospel, we pray like the covenant Solomon had when the Jerusalem temple was being dedicated, may God always find a people from this church. In Jesus' name. You need Jesus. Please all stand. You need Jesus. More than church, you need Jesus more than the sermon of a preacher there are many thousands of people scattered across the balcony thousands others following online the reason why we do this is not just out of church and religiosity it is that that is the protocol for any life of victory your encounter begins with jesus we are only midwives we are ushers and there's someone who came to church tonight and whilst you heard me speak the spirit of god deep began to call on to deep and the spirit of god began to tell you you were born for a reason 
there's more to your life than just survival there's more to your life than coming to church today and going back attempting to be serious with God or otherwise some of you were invited you just came I'm going to make an altar call two calls in one number one for somebody in this place we say an apostle on hearing you I have come to a realization that I need Jesus beyond religion beyond pretense or number two someone is saying I need to rededicate my life I'm tired of playing games I want to mean it with Jesus give me the honor of leading you to Jesus as my last function here wherever you are I'm going to count one to five unashamedly leave your seat and please let me request that you come and stand right before me here I begin my counting now one if you're coming come fountain of life are you celebrating salvation two come on Christ the solid rock I stand all around come mean business with Jesus One more time. On Christ, the solid rock. Three. I count five and I begin to pray. Keep clapping. Let's encourage them as they come. Come. Young and old. Learned and unlearned. Come. He wants to give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to me very carefully. My Bible, your Bible says, For God so loved the world, that includes you, that he gave his then only begotten son, that whosoever, this blessing is for whosoever. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. This is why he brought us here. If this were the only miracle, it would still be the greatest. The greatest. By your coming forward tonight, you are agreeing with myself and the great servants of God in this church, that number one, you have seen the need for Jesus above and beyond any other thing in your life. And that you are of your own accord and by your own willingness, you're ready to surrender your life totally and truly, void of pretense, void of religion. If that is true and that is you, please may I request you lift your right hand as high as you can as a sign of surrender. I know you are crying, but don't be ashamed of your tears. You are with him. He loves you. Mm. He said, I am come that ye may have life and that you have it more abundantly. Say after me as loud and as clear as you can. Lord Jesus. Jesus. One more time, say it again. Lord Jesus. Jesus. Tonight, Tonight, I have heard your word. I, heard your word. I, believe, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God. I go from glory to glory. Amen. Father, thank you for these precious ones. The Bible declares that as many who will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. I decree and declare on account of your confession and by the authority of Scripture, that your sins are forgiven in Jesus name I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God 
the grace to live the victorious Christian life, let it be imparted upon you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Okay, so here's what I want you to do for me, all of you. Thank you very much for your courage. There's a sister waving her hands. In fact, there are a group of counselors. I'm going to please request that all of you in concert, just follow that sister as she leads you. There will be a group of people who have a word with you very quickly as we clap for you, and then you'll be back to your seat. Let's honor them as they go. Is that the best you can do? Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Don't stop. That's how people will clap for you. That is how you will celebrate your testimonies. In Jesus' name we pray. Pastor Jimmy, Pastor Tolu, the entire Fountain of Life, thank you very much. May God bless you and increase you in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate God and the gift on Apostle Joshua Selman. Celebrate the gift of God. Celebrate the gift of God. Celebrate the gift of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right. Want some word? Awesome word. Awesome word. I mean, we're still floating. We're still basking in the spirit. Amen. So let me quickly um, give. Okay. Can we just um, rise? I know time is fast spent. Can we rise? Can we just lift our offerings? Lift our offerings. God loves a cheerful giver, like my pastor would say. Um, if you don't want to give, it's fine. You are not under compulsion. God loves a cheerful. Amen. Father, can we lift our offerings? Oh, Father, we thank you for the privilege to be able to honor your word by giving. We we'll pray that this grace to give the blessings that come with offerings and tithes to rest upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. As many that do not have to give but they are giving their hearts Lord, we pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus. And as many that are giving and those who are do not have to give, good measure pressed down, shaking together, running, there shall be an overflow. There shall be an overflow. Thank you Heavenly Father in Jesus name we are prayed. Amen. You may give your offering. Sorry, because of time, we will just have to calm down. Just calm down. I need us to listen to the following announcement. Um, tomorrow, there will be no session in the morning. There will be no session in the morning. So we'll converge here by 5 tomorrow evening. And we'll be having Bishop Mike Okonkwo tomorrow. Our father our grandfather in the Lord himself will be coming to take us to an altitude. So invite somebody, tell someone, tell someone, make sure you come and you tell someone about what God is about to do tomorrow. Let's rise on our feet. Let's rise on our feet. Grace, Grace Band, you can now go play your instrument. Play. <laughs> going to go out of the hall go through the air the side doors but i expect you wait for the grace before you leave the hall
are buses available so just go out and um, um, the various locations okay Korodu K2 my 2 Edbeda Abu Ledba Oju Ledba Bega Leki a lot of buses available at Red Bull, so just make sure you find yourself there please remember to do the hashtag um, hashtag what World Explosion 2024 you can keep taking yourself here and be tagging yourself telling your friends I was here I received the overflow I received the encounter let's share the grace in fellowship and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore surely and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives yeah, pause you know I'm just let me quickly say this I just want to advise us um, it's not always good to leave church before the grace there's a covering that comes with the grace Please, I just want to advise us. Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. And so sin shall not have dominion over us. For the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us and quickens our mortal bodies to the glory of his holy name. Amen. See you tomorrow by 5 p.m. God bless you. Pastor Mike Todd, Apostle Joshua Selman, Pastor Ibuko Awoshika, and Pastor Kunle Shorio. Host are Pastor Jimmy Odukoya and Pastor Tuluwani Odukoya. Venue is the Fountain of Life Church, 12 Industrial Estate Road, of Town Planning Way, Ilupeju, Lagos. The morning sessions will start at 9 a.m., while the evening sessions will start at 5 p.m. Don't miss this opportunity to encounter the supernatural and witness the manifestation of God's power. Word Explosion Conference of 2024, where faith meets with revelation and lives are changed forever. Tell somebody to tell somebody about it. Still doing it. Still doing it. You were created for something special. Something extraordinary. Are you ready to be a sign and a wonder to your generation? The Fountain of Life Church presents Word Explosion Conference 2024. Come experience eight days of divine revelations, transformative teachings, and powerful worship. With the theme, Signs and Wonders, the event holds from Sunday, April 14 to Sunday, April 21st. Speaking at the conference are renowned and seasoned preachers.